Come hello, come hello, come hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, today is gonna be a little bit different. There are some things changed with my stream setup. If you wonder if you, I wonder if you notice. That's right. The chat has looked a little bit different because that's something. There's something work in progress right now, and at least I. At least it's kind of rough, but I do want to improve on that. Also, by the way, you can also type exclamation mark CMD to find out what commands you can execute in in the, in the live chat. That's another new thing to, to, to announce, I guess. <laughs> ah, right. And also, it's been, a, it's been so long since I last been back on Burnout 3, and I genuinely want to play more Burnout 3 once again. This has been a thing since, since since the old Melody days. Went back when the channel was used to be called Techie Melody, which uh, do give it some time a little bit. Uh, Streamlabs could be a little bit slow at times, but at least it works. <laughs> but yeah, if you do want to donate to me, you can type exclamation mark tip. If you want to donate to me off stream, every other options are available. Patreon, Throne, Coffee, they're all there. If you want to interact with me on on stream uh, sound alerts, you can also type exclamation mark burp, blurp, because that's going to be my current sound alert system. However, I think you may need to install blurp extension to be able to collect uh, YouTube-based channel points to be able to use them for, for streams. But yeah, hopefully this goes well. I've also removed some of the some of the goals. Um, what do you call that? The throne and coffee goal because I found that they they take up a massive clutter on on uh, on the screens and and it makes it a little bit harder for me and potentially future editors to to highlight highlight the stream because of all the clutter but yeah this is kind of like a, sac uh, a sacrifice that I will I'm willing to take for now so let's get straight into the game Eto stream is it capturing PlayStation but as the Asian fight <laughs> no it's it doesn't look like it's going to capture what a day this keeps happening to me every time. There we go, now it's probably capturing. Gosh darn it. That took a while. All right, and whoosh. Hey, there we go. Hi, 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 I'm losing my sanity. <laughs> hello, hello. Here's another thing that's different. I'm looking towards the screen now. Yay! So I realized something, right? You know how those v VTube Studio VTubers they 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 do they do these things where they like they they tend to like to zoom in up on their face and all that shit. Yeah, uh, previously I could not because I had I had the full the full thing like uh what do you call that? The whole window on down at the corner. Well, now I can because I figured out how to how to put myself in this specific position, and I can change him. Boop boop. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna readjust that position uh, a little more in the future, so hopefully it looks better as prog as time progresses. And look, the gamepad still works as usual, like previous times. See, all the buttons are working. Ooh, ooh. The, the, all the buttons are working. All that, all they're all working. For some reason, we have a trackpad that we don't ever use. <laughs> but yeah, let's get straight into the game. Oh, that lag though. So this this particular lag will will happen from time to time. Very very rare, but but it still happens. It's not zero still. But I'm hoping that this does not introduce significant lag. So I'm gonna continuously monitor the task manager as I as I watch the GPU. See, uh, hopefully it doesn't fl go in, go up in flames. <laughs> also, I just realized, holy crap, that's a lot of RAM that's being used. 
What is eating up so much of my RAM right now? Oh, Firefox. <laughs> you know what? I'll kill Firefox real quick. Yeet. Saves me some RAM. Oh, even pl even the pl even the emulator. Holy shoot. The emulator is taking up like 10 10.7 gigs of RAM. You know what? That's natural at this point. I'm not gonna bother. Fuck, fuck it. Let's bring Firefox back. <laughs> I I wanna I wanna see my YouTube Studio. What 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 ha what if the what if YouTube Studio suddenly tells me oh I'm getting copyright strikes and shit. <laughs> Motherboard eating the RAM. My bad. No wait. My bad. I'm eating the RAM. Nom. <laughs> there we go. My Firefox is now tame. It has went down from 7 gigs down to 1.6 gigs. <laughs> it has returned to tame. I have tamed... I have tamed the... the, the I have tamed the fox. The flaming fox. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Kill Firefox evil. Uh, okay. Right. Let's get straight into the game. Um, hello, Robbie. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. So... In case you don't, I cannot speak. In case if you don't remember, uh, I, I played I played Burnout Three since Melody Tens. Uh, no, the old techie Melody days, before I even changed my name to Melody Tensei, and I've been consistently doing that for for a while as like an ongoing series. However, if you if you're looking for the previous bots, I'm sorry they're they're no longer there because I had to take it down for copyright reasons and other historical reasons. But I'll bring it back up once I once once everything like like this the coast is clear. I'll bring those bots back when the coast is clear. So like it's not like they're gone forever. I still got my archives. Um the U YouTube still got my archives as well, so it's a matter of just a bit of complications with copyright, so yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I can bring them all back so I can make it make it into a a playlist or something. Um, however, I'm not gonna make it into a, I'm not gonna make highlights out of it sadly because um, there was there were a lot of empty space and a, empty a, a dead air in in most of the past streams. And however, those who are enthusiastic enough to make make uh, make highlights out of out of the burnout streams, let me know. And also. I'm hunting for a, f a few voluntary positions. If you're interested in the voluntary positions, please check out my pincushion page by exclamation mark pincushion or check out pincushion.itoisha.moe slash melody tensei uh, slash at melody tensei, I think. And check out at the absolute bottom of the page. That's where I've put up my listings for, for the positions I'm looking for for, vo for volunteers. So if if you like to volunteer to contribute to my to, to the growth of this channel, please, I'll I'll look forward to hear from you. Right, let's get straight into the game. Oh, that that like, <laughs> dear me. All oh, right, desktop audio. My bad. Let's bring it back. Wait. Hey, we got back. We got desktop audio back again. Okay. Now we're gonna do the typical. We're gonna do the typical. Um, what do you call it? The typical rounds of things, um, as we do in all the previous streams. One of which is we're gonna go up to settings, go to EA Games Tracks. Okay. I'm gonna cycle through the songs intentionally because, because I don't want songs to play. I don't want songs to play at all at the moment because I want to do something that's very typical of this channel. If you if you're very aware of copyright problems, then you would know the struggles that I go through with this channel. Um, as much I I love the original vibes of this chat uh, of this game, but I hate substituting music for this game particularly. So, so what I'm what I do usually with this with this. With, with these burnout series is that I just go up to the previous stream stream archives and look at what songs have been content ID'd. So let's see, what's the previous burnout stream we have, we've had? I said something about I've lost my mind? Okay, any more than that? Any other burnout streams ahead of that? Doesn't seem like it. I haven't had a burnout stream in so long. 
that's interesting right my last burnout stream was oh my god almost two years that long that's crazy okay let's go back to our copyright page right let's see what songs are currently blocked blocked in some territories hot night crash blocked in russia we're gonna look for that song right now and we're gonna turn it off where is hot night crash where are you hot night crash am i blind yeah i'm probably blind i forgot that the titles are not on the on the upper side the titles are in the middle that's how people title uh play songs at the time there you are this song is no longer allowed so we have to turn it off I'm gonna mute this I'm gonna mute this portion of the VOD when that time comes <laughs> shit next make a sound from autopilot off make a sound you okay right um, next radio up letter kills letter kills radio up where are you radio up no wait the title is called what radio yeah it, the title is called radio up okay there you are turn off next congratulations smack plus kd by full effect i've i don't think i recognize the song actually hold on let me just see if there's any around here hello paul welcome welcome Right, let's see if we can find that song right now. Anywhere in the list, or is it just false copyright? I don't think it's false copyright. Oh, it's right here. Turn it off. No, <sighs> off. There you are. Next, I'm not okay by My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance. Okay, so, so for those who just dropped by, um, the, context, the context is, um, because I'm dealing with a very comp complicated copyright situation, what I usually do ev after every stream, I mean, not after every stream, on the next burnout streams, is to mute songs that were caught, cop caught on copyright in the previous streams. Oh shoot, that's already off, okay. Uh, Betty, go, go Betty, go, come on. Oh, that's sad. This one cannot be turned off. It, it's only menu only then. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, shake that bush again by, by Muni Suzuki, the Muni Suzuki. No, it's menu only as well. Over the counter culture. Right. Over the counter culture. Usually I do this off stream, but, I, but, but, but this stream, I just feel like I just, I, I just feel like I, sh I should let the viewers know, you know, what's been going on. Why, why are some songs disappeared? And this is exactly how I like, like to present the problem with. <laughs> right, next. Oh, uh, decent, decent Days and Nights. Okay, that I remember by the title, but not the song. <laughs> Man, I miss the, I miss these songs, honestly. I seriously miss these songs, but these are, have to be turned off because they just, they're just gonna impact my algorithm like crazy. Right. Lot 6 ever, auto, auto brats. Right, where are you? I remember this title. Right here. Menu only, dang it. Come on, come on by Von, Von, Br you. Oh. Uh, we have lost so many tracks in the crossfire. So currently playable is No Motive uh, Independence Day. Ember Pacific, Always You, Funeral for a Friend, Rookie of the Year, Chronic Future, Time and Time Again, F This Fire, Orf Orpheus, Breathing, Rise Up, Reinvented the View to Run Myself Over, Lady Lazy Generations, Hot Night, no, not Hot Night Crashes Off, I Let Go, um, Saccharine Smiles, Populism 2, Memory, Stained Shadow, Everyone Life, Please, At Least I'm Known for Something, Broken Promises, Give It Up, Fall Apart, My Favorite Accident, Paper Wings, Sing Along Forever, Audio Blood, 416, Here I Am, Come On, uh, Animal, Heart Full of Black, Right Side of the Bit, Just Tonight. Right, these are the songs that are currently in the crossfire. The current crossfire of the, the EA Tracks Battle Royale. <laughs> 
Oh god. You know what? I should actually start calling it the, the EA Trex Battle Royale, considering how we're eliminating Trex. <laughs> we're gonna see what songs what songs get me copyrighted on, on this stream, and then we're gonna mute them on next stream. So do stick around for next stream for to find out which song gets eliminated from this from the stream. <laughs> Alright, let's complete let's try to complete um the usual thing. So the main goal for, for the burnout stream is to try to 100% the game, right? 100% is the important part. That means we gotta goal everything, trophy everything, signature takedown everything, everything 100%. 100% to the point that when we get up to the progress, you see the percentage of game complete to be, to be 100% though. So that's the goal. We're gonna hundred percent the game. It's while it while it's not a marathon, it's still a little a little fun playthrough, I would say. So right now we're gonna try to get into a couple of crashes until we run out of crashes. Hopefully, hopefully we run out of crashes. But it would be question: Do you do you hate furries? Not really. If you don't piss me off, then it'll be fine. <laughs> I, I, I look at people at, by their by their personalities. Right, that's Oh that frame rate though. Oh damn that lag. Hold on, we're we're struggling we're struggling with the frame rates, hold on. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to bring it down. Bring it down by a little bit. Let's see, graphics, rendering. Bring it down to like 1620p, just like a little teeny tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, you know, just enough. Oh, that's much better. Much better by long shot. Come on, give me the four times, there we go. Smack that thing, that's right, that stops our momentum. We get, we get loads of mayhem back there. Lots of mayhem incoming as well on this side. Oh, mayhem over this side, and then we crash break and destroy everything in the ho at, at the RVs. Touch everyone at least so that we can cause even more mayhems, and that should be gold in theory. Oh my god, my my throat hurts. <coughs> yeah, no problem, Paul. No problem. Two, four. Oh, we're we did we got over? Yes, we got goal. We got goal here. Very nice. Oh hey, thanks. Oh by the way, I've, I'm also now on retro achievements on. Uh, if you want to track my progress on the on the, in the game. However, I think my burnout achievements may not be streamlined. I guess or in line with anything because because um I think. I've screwed it up with with a with with a hundred percent save that I was testing, that I was uh, testing with. I was testing the performance of of the emulator with the hundred percent save. So if my if you if you happen to catch my my um my retro achievements looking very weird, terribly sorry about that. I'll do better on other games. I don't think I'll ever use hundred percent saves on other games like Dynasty Warriors. Maybe like other. Oh, we're getting car. Let's go. On like so, um, yeah. Gosh, I I cannot speak. We got a bus. Let's go. Is this the American bus? Yeah, it is. And we got new new crash events. Do we have any race events? Cause I think. I I think I think most people would be here for the race events. And honestly, oh, we got GPS. Okay, right. How about how about this one though on the dock side? Road Rage. Oh hell yeah, what a way to start the stream. Here we go. I mean, I would love to drive the Dominator, but it felt like cheating, honestly. Do you think I should drive the Dominator, or should I just pick up the weaker cars to challenge me? You can challenge me if you want. But here are, here are the cars that I got. If you want to challenge me, tell, tell me which cars I should pick.
this one's on particularly on the lighter side, which means it's a little it's gonna be a little bit harder to to kill someone with, which which honestly I don't I don't mind. It brings up a lot of challenge and it brings up a lot of aggression. So Right. I appreciate the fellow community up up on uh, YouTube and GBA Thames for for upscaling all the textures for the game so that it looks very crisp. This looks amazing, even though they are AI upscaled. Probably they have hand fixed it or something because it looks amazing, spectacular, honestly. It's a stellar job. Like, look at that. Sue Racing looked different. This looks like. A complete box, whereas in the lower resolution, they look quite like um, a half box or something. So I think they're trying to make, they're trying to reference uh, the closest to real life uh, design, which is why they have a close box design for seal racing. Right, I'll just pick up. Mm. I'll pick up the Type 2 then. Oh, there's that lower resolution version. Did you see that? Right, let's go. Time for some mayhem. Hoi! Kanjo. Oi! Oi! There we go. Shui! Oh 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 oh! There's another kill. Oh oh oh! oh okay, here we go. Ooh! Dang it, I was gonna kancho him. Hoi! Slam it. That was the face. Right, let's try to catch whoever's at the front if they respawned. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm not dying to that. Hoi! Hoi! Are we getting double kill from this? Nope. He's alive. Sad. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Rampage! Let's see if I can... No, that was... Slam on my end! Not my crash! Dang it! Ah, oh, shoot! Got avenged! Oi! 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 Farm some... Oh shit, that barrier! That pillar! Oh, that gate! Uh, I mean, whatever I'm ju I just said. Come on! How many more to- Oh, there's bronze. Okay, we need more. We need more. 16, 16 for silver. After touch? No? Ah, oh, we lost him. Ow. Ooh, signature. Oh shoot, I missed him! I was gonna hit him like a missile! Dang it! Here we go! Whoa! Oh! Okay. Well, that, that was lucky, I suppose. We need... A couple more for, for silver. Off the touch. That's four more till silver. Please don't die too quickly. I can already see these metal thingy. That we're done for. We're almost done for. 13. Come on, 14, give me the 14. No more crap. What? What happened there? What happened there? God damn it. Okay. Let's retry. I I I don't want to settle with this. I don't settle with this. This is not gold, and I'm not settling. 
down. Survival of the fittest applies here. Oh, there's that. That momentary lag. Come on, both of you. Yes, sir. Here we go. We're 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 gaming. Cannonball. Oh. Oi. 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 Grind him. Dang it. Forward. There we go. Oh. Come on. Crash into the wall behind me. No. Dang it. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Woo! That was a close call. Holy crap. Nope. No boost nuts for you! Oh, why wasn't why wasn't that mine? That could have been mine. It should have been me. Oh that was a close call. Oh how was that not my takedown? I pushed him in softly! Come on. Ow, dang it. All right, forward. One more for bronze. That should be easy. Bronze. Hey, and that's another. Okay, um, seven more till till silver. Oh shoot! Again. Oi, oi. There we go. Is that ten? Yes. Six more. Hopefully we don't reach damage critical. That would be really bad. Ow. Oh. How did this happen? Okay. What? That was just a, a Robin? Oi. That should count. Come on. That's 12. Wait, that's another slam. 13. Psych. That's the wrong number. Wait. Wait. How did he not die on that edge? Dang it. Ooh, car takedown. Oh, they have more cars. Oh, the bus! The damn bus! The bus! Okay, I'm not selling. I'm not selling. I'm still going. I think I know why. I think I know why my my stream last year was said uh, was was said to be I've lost my mind. I think I know why. This is. Going to make me go nuts at it. <laughs> just like, just like, just like the voice activated elevator in Scotland. All right, let's take it easy. Take it conservatively slow. Like that. We're gonna take it slowly. Not up. Not about speed. Everything about damage. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Holy renderer, are you okay? Render engine, are you okay? Ouch. Hey. Okay, let's take the easy the easy edge. And then slam him off to the side. He's still alive from that. Wow, okay. Ah dang it. First crashed, I think. Please die. Okay. Ooh, that was close. No! Oh, that pillar. Oh, that pillar. I've been saved. Thanks. That's bronze. Thanks for the psych. <gasps> that could have been mine.
โอเคโอเค take it easy take it easy we got plenty wall to slam on oh yes yes okay come on silver come on there we go there's one we need 24 so that's like eight more um six more Come on! That's right! That's like... Four more! Come on! Ugh. There we go! We pressed him hard! Three more! We're getting gold! Oh yes! Oh yes, that was a good... That was a good slam from the back! Oi! Ooh, Psyche out. Thanks. One more. Come on, one more! This should be easy! No! Please don't end, please don't end, please don't end. We're just one tick down away. No! Why? <laughs> Dang it! <coughs> no! Oh my god! Just one takedown away from gold! Oh! It's the karma? Dang it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's try again. We're, we're, we're cooking. Conservative strat. Take it slowly. That's another. We'll have a soft little fight with him. A sumo battle, I guess. We'll take them down one at a time. Or maybe two. <laughs> we'll sparingly use our boost. Oh. One more for, for bronze. Oh, that was harsh. That was harsh. Oh, dang it. Come on. Get grinded off. You. Get away. Thank you. That was harsh. Oh, thanks to the takedown cam god mode. Oh, there we go. That's another. Perfect. There are a couple of no-no zones and we have to kick care about... Shoot! They ganged out on me, damn it. Alright, let's take a moment to, to cruise through the no-no zone. Then slam them good. That should be another. There we go. Come on. That was not counted, huh? Alright then. That's fine. How do we kill someone with a tail? I think it's possible, right? Oi! I'm stronger than you! Oi! Down you!
There we go. Four more. Four more. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's a that's a signature. Oof. Oof. Two more. One. Timer. Give me it. No. Oh, the timer. Oh, we lost to the timer this time. Not by damage. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's try again. This is driving me mad right now. Come on! Ow, how did that... Dang it, okay. Come on! Everyone dies. Okay, I uh, with those two crashes, it's not it's not profitable. It's not worth it. It's not feasible. It's really really hard to keep up with that with that amount of crash under that amount of takedown. No, I did not get him. There we go. That's one. Oh, 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 there's another. Okay, I'm going right ahead so that he can, the ones behind him respawn. Shoot, I missed him. How did he not die to that wall earlier? What the heck? What was that? That's not crashed, bro. This, that's not crash game. The we called audio blood. Ah, there we go. Car takedown. Oh, hold on. I just realized something. If my stream, if my audio is. Wait, wait, wait. I need to double check something with my audio. So if I want to sing along, I'll have to set I'll have to set this delay to to 100 milliseconds. Can I get the video to to delay as well? I wonder if it's possible. Would it be it would be nice if to, if I could get the video to delay by by 100 millisecond as well. Mm, not not yet. I'll figure. I'll figure. I'll figure a way out for this one. Cause I did realize, right? When when I used to do karaoke streams in the past, there was an audio delay, and it's easy to set. It, it's it's easy to handle audio delays, but but it's not. It, it's hard. It's harder to to handle video delays. There we go. Whoa. That's a lot of takedowns behind there. Oh no! Dang it! Wait! Gotta catch them. We're running out of time. Bronze. I think... I think it'll be hard for me to keep up. If I don't make one takedown per, per few seconds. Why are you here? No, why do you all die together here? I need more kills! Come on! By pressure. Peer pressure. Come on! 
Are you dead? No, you're not. Dang it. Oh, that was insane. That in itself is insane. We have 30 seconds. Um, I don't think I can win. I don't think I can win this. Nothing. Nothing. That's silver. Not until I get more aggressive than that. Come on. Come on! Six takedowns in those 10 seconds are impossible. Yup. We can't make it. Can't make it. Can't make it. Okay. We gotta keep trying. We gotta keep trying until we get gold. And then we'll play a couple crashes again. This is challenging. This is real hard. So one, don't crash too much. Number two, if possible, slam them hard. Wow, that was fun. Come on. Oh my god, there was a lot of battling, but no crashes. There we go. Come on, there we go. That's another one. More. They're trying really hard to keep out. Yes. Come on. That's right, you go. Very nice. Keep it, keep up that rage. Nice. Dang it. Not that wall. Ooh. That turn. Did you see that takedown camera turn? That turn was harsh. Oh. Ooh, that was another close call with the takedown camera. Come on. Ooh, tunnel of shelf. That's 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 a fun name. Thank you. Ah oh, shoot. I was expecting the takedown cam to help. Dang it, why what what's with the explosion? Damn it! Come on! Come on! Oi! Oi! Silver! How many minutes have we got? One minute! One minute to make eight takedowns! Oh, two! That's six! Six F! Come on! Five! Four. Three. Two. One. We're almost there. Just one takedown left. Easy does it. Oh shit. Come on, one more, one more, one more. We're, we got 30 seconds to do one last takedown. Yes! Gold! Finally gold. Now we can do whatever we like. Let them respawn at the front and then cannonball at them. Cannon- Shit.
Oh, we even missed him. God dang it. Well, it'll be fine. There we go. Earn all raised gold medals in Dockside. Wait, did we actually complete... Let's go. All gold in Dockside. Not yet, not yet the entirety of our uh, of Far East yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Ooh. Bow, 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 bow. Hello, Voyager. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. I remember seeing you one somewhere. Oop. Okay, hold on. What's going on in Dockside? Any other races? Just the Grand Prix. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take care of the crashes first. We're gonna try to go all... T oh, hello. What do you have here? Is this a preview lap? Oh, it is a preview lap. With a hot rod! Let's go! Alright. This car is particularly slippery, as far as I can remember from childhood. So if anything, I want to start with this. I'll start this way. Oh, you are particularly a swingy dude. Holy crap. So cold that you cannot cope with a frozen heart. Oh my god, I was getting close to dying to, to that one. Ooh! Yeah, this car is slip- just as- just as slippery as I remembered. No, why do you come out here? Get out of the way. There's a tram here, so we gotta stay out of the way. Okay, hug the wall. Hug the wall from here. We'll be fine. Okay, speed up. Final turn. Speed up! Eight, nine, yes! We got it! Let's go! We gotta go! Woo! Oh, that was like what? 10 milliseconds, nine milliseconds! Oh, oh my god, that was intense. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that was intense, that was intense. Oh. Okay. Tell me, there's only crashes in the United States, right? Come on. Let me look at it. There's only three events left that, that are not gold in the, in the USA right now. As far as I can see. No, not three. Sorry. Uh, what do you call that? Wait, is that? Two events in the, U in the US for races. And there are six crashes left. Okay. Yeah, tr so three races, six... Shoot, I can't do my math. 14... 20 races. Uh, 20 crashes. So we got 20 crashes to take care of. Let's get those, let's get those done for, first before we do the races. Because I really want to see the end of the game in the form of a race. So let's try completing all crashes first. I didn't get to see it. <laughs> Dang it. We'll figure it out. What are we getting? Okay, so presumably we have to go in there, past these guys, into the mayhem of multipliers, and touch this guy. Ah, we missed him. That's fine. We slid right into this area. Run. 
no one gives a damn. Now mind, someone gave a damn. There we go, Crash Breaker towards... Presumably a multiplier is a day. Uh, never mind, the game gave up on us. <laughs> the game just gave up on us, dang it. Okay, let's try again. Retry that. So... We could avoid the boost. But we could also not avoid the boost. Because we need the boost to hit them. Maybe we turn towards this direction and... There was a ramp there! I didn't see that! Oh, dang it. Okay, we'll take the ramp and then see, see, see how it goes. I think we're supposed to skateboard slide above the bus. At least that's what I'm assuming it's supposed to be. Right, take the ramp. Point. Well, that didn't happen. That did not happen at all. Oh, that was a heartbreaker! No, we did not want a heartbreaker. Okay, let's take a good look at the map before we, we actually crash into it. Okay, so if we jump over, then we'll miss all the cash. Unless we do it without the boost. We'll do it without the boost. 850 is what where they're aiming for. Let's see what we can do here. Excuse me, coming through! Kablam! In theory, we should be able to hit the, the crash breaker right here and hit towards the 4x multiplier. Touch that guy. There we go. Crash break to back towards the bus to get extra money. Or the cars. Oh, now we, we touched the bus as well. Good enough. I think there should be enough mayhem. Let's see how much it costs. Looking good so far, I guess. It's a little hard to tell. We need 800k though. And that's 200k? Okay, we're, we're past it. Oh, we're past it! Yes, we won. Gold. Let's go. So without boost is all is the strat all along for this one. Right, next crash. We got six crashes, so five more in in the USA. Five more in the United States. That we have to clear. Before we can go through those last three races in in uh in in burnout three. We're gonna try to complete all crashes now. Cause I think I've done too much too much races in, in the in the past stream, so I have to complete this one first. Oh my god, the AI upscaling of this particular image. Jesus, that's really bad. Okay. So if we go forward, lean left, touch the crash breaker, and head towards the 4x and then crash break in the in the bus which means we're gonna need first person which is otherwise it would be really bad no I missed the crash breaker altogether that's fine I think it'll be enough we have done enough damage let's go backwards I think we I think we've done enough damage I think this should do I think this should be fit. this should be it. I don't think we need the crash breaker. Though I think the crash breaker would have been, would have benefit in killing everyone at the front, but I wonder how much we need it actually. If it's four hundred, then I think we're well over it. There was a car that was just about to crash at the back. Oh, hello. <laughs> they all stacked up. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I think we're all well over, aren't we? Yep, great job. Four more to go. Man, burn 
out is such a nostalgic game. I would love to actually like join in a burnout tourney if anyone is, is going to host one. If anyone could host a burnout tourney, I'll happily join it. However, I can't afford I can't afford air, airplane fees, so if anyone were to sponsor me, it would be nice. <laughs> sponsor me like air uh, uh, air tickets and 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 hotel and hotel fees, I guess. It would be fun. That's gold. That's the four X. That would be bad because um, we're at a massive dilemma. Five hundred bucks. Where's the boost? Oh, that way. Huh. See if we can reach that, and then and then reach for the four X. Yes, we reached it! Now to the Crash Breaker, dang it! Oh, we did not reach the Crash Breaker. Because we're, I think we're, we're a little bit too slow. I think. I don't know. I think we're too slow. Man, I love downtown. Are we supposed to like lean forward for this? I think we, we should lean forward for this. Nah, same result. We're not getting anyone. We're not getting anyone. So we have to go really, really fast. What does that mean? We have to lean f directly at it. So like even down to here, we have to be Gaining enough speed to, to do all the impact time we need to do. Or could it be a red herring, honestly? Now think about it, could it be a red herring? Three, two, one. Crash break it! We got the second one! Ah, oh, dang it. The second one was just there. Okay. We need 500k. Are we are we anywhere near 500k is the question. Oh, we're nowhere near. Or are we? Ah, oh, dang it. We're nowhere near. Okay, so I assume it's it's a red herring. So in that case, we will have to get We'll have to get the first lane only, and only the first lane. The first lane is all we need. Problem is, how do we get to the Crash Breaker? Because these guys are high value, but... But if we slam right into the face of the buses, that means it will make things harder for us to reach the, 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 the thing. So... What I want, like to do is just touch, tap his head from the top. Like this. Tap them like this. Oh, dang it. We're not at such a we're not at a good angle. That was such a bad angle. I honestly never watched watch besides Kudo gameplay about Burnout 3 and even then there was only races I think. I didn't knew there was such game mode in, in the game. I, overall I really love Burnout 3 for the OST. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you, thank you! Thank you so much! Yeah, I honestly I I um, I, I grew up with Burnout 3, and and when I saw Kuru made, made a stream up, uh, made a video about it, I thought to myself, that's awesome. Considering how I used to watch him for, for other gameplays, like uh, Need for Speed and, and Forza. I think, I think there might be a couple, couple others that I'm missing, but, but to see him play Burnout, it's kind of like, oh, oh dang. My childhood has been reaffirmed, that kind of vibe, you know? But yeah, thank you, thank you for dropping by! Greatly appreciate it! Oh, we got the cash! Now tap him! No, we're leaving to the wrong side! We're leaving to the wrong side! That was bad! That was really, really bad! But I think we might be able to get Crash Break if that guy... These two... 
these two guys honestly <laughs> okay so I think I think what we have to do is slow down and tap more hits tap more hits and and cause more mayhem I think that's the strat but yeah honestly bur burnout as a game kind of fell we flew too far didn't we yeah we flew too far we touched no one <laughs> It was kind of sad to see like how little gate, how little videos of burnout are there on YouTube and and, and even on Twitch actually. So I kind of want to bring bring the spirit back by streaming burnout as much as I can. Okay, get over that thing. No, I, uh, what I wanted to do is edge that edge that thing, and then and then tap their heads. Man, I love down. We have to hit the right speed then, presumably. 190 kilometers per hour. Oh, I tapped it, but done the wrong spot. We're getting no one again. Ah, oh, dang it! If you guys, if you guys know a strat for for this particular uh, level, let me know. Oh, this is challenging. What if I take the boost and not take the ramp at all? Just slam right at him. Right at them. And then lean towards the 4x. Would it help? Mm, no. It did not do a thing. It did not do a thing. So I guess what I have to do is um tap the hit in a way that it doesn't spin me off. Oh wait, I took the boost. Shoot. Well, um, yikes, as far as I can see. I'm mostly a fan of flat out games. They have pre they have as well pre pre good OST Burnout Three. Even if I wanted to, there is only Burnout Paradise, which I don't really want to buy. I want to try specifically Burnout Three because it's free fun to me. Yeah, honestly, I I'm not a big fan of Burnout Paradise. I have completed the game, but. Like, uh, as in, I've completed the game in my childhood, um, and um, it, it, honestly, it's just really hard for me to, to think about what's really worth streaming Burnout Paradise when you don't have, like, physics physics that the render, render, Renderware engine actually provides. Like, there's a huge difference between Burnout Paradise and, and Burnout 3, which is Burnout Paradise is based on the Frostbite, uh, close to a Frostbite engine that, that EA uses nowadays. Whereas, whereas the Criterion Render Engine is kind of, kind of Criterion and Canon's home, homegrown software that, for whatever reason, EA wanted to ditch. I don't really know why. Render could have been one of the coolest engine for arcade games, honestly. I want to experiment a little. What if I take this route, and hit everyone from from here, and then we tap those hit, and then we just. Uh, we didn't tap those hits, but we can just rush straight for the 4x. See if we can... Oh, is this the strat? No, we missed the 4x! We missed the 4x! Hold on, hold on, hold on! We found, we found the strat, we found the strat. Hold on, we found the strat. So we tap these guys, and then we, we, we head towards the 4x. And crash break to the 4x. We found, we found, the, we found the strat. Oh, that was not enough to spin us off. That's not enough to spin us. I cannot speak. That's not enough to spin us off to off to the to the to to, to the other to to the to that to that road. Oh my god, I'm stuttering so much. That's real bad. Okay, what if we take take this approach from here, and then we? Oh, dang it. Okay, what is it possible? Any more buses? One more bus? No? Is that all the buses? Dang it. Okay, we'll, we'll get him again. We had it. We had it. We had it earlier. So get the cash. 
tap them on the side like that, tap their head for and then move forward. Make sure we're we're off the coast like oh shoot. Oh, we're too far off from the thing. Okay, we had it, we had it. We just have to perfect the handling of this engine. We gotta handle this con chaotic engine at our in our fist. I'm gonna grasp the power of the engine. Yes! Yes! We're flying! Here we go! That way! Did we not get the other side of the road? Oh, we missed everyone from the other side of the road. Ah, oh, dang it. We didn't hit the guys enough for him to slide to the other side of the road. Dang it. Okay. Let's do it again. Until we get him. Get that guy, tap the hit. We... we got blocked. We got cock blocked. <laughs> that was really bad. We have to fly. So that means we gotta spin. Which means, what we have to do is get like the corner tip of the head of the car flying into that... into the middle car. Ooh, that was really hard. Especially when we're getting close to like the... the... the, the near end of the game. It gets really hard. Oh my god, keep going there, that way! Stop getting pushed! We're not getting there, are we? Oh, we're not getting there. We're not getting there. I've never played any Burnout games, so I'm pretty sure I tried Burnout. If I try Burnout Paradise, I'll almost likely like it. But the game is totally different from Burnout 3 and older games. Yeah, it is very different. Like, in Burnout Paradise, it, it feels kind of like things got hardened so things don't feel rubber bandy and sumo-ish like like burnout 3 does it's like ea wanted to take burnout in a different direction altogether a completely different direction which is kind of saddening actually now I think about it because i personally don't feel like like the fun factor is missing for when it comes to like takedowns. It's like mostly about races now in, in Burnout Paradise. It's less about causing chaos and destruction now. For people that have played previous games, it, it's not gonna be the same. Yeah, true. People who have enjoyed Burnout Revenge and, before, and previous would feel, feel completely differently because uh, because like th there's there, there's an essence in the in the rubber bandy rubber bandy and slidey uh, physics in the renderer engine in comparison to the Prospy engine that Burnout Paradise uses, which is a little more hardened and a little more aiming aiming towards the realism side of things. So it five one zero get in. Please don't touch the heartbreaker. No, not the 4X. We missed the 4X. Ah, oh, we just had that. We had that th throw. We threw ourselves over, but but we didn't get the 4X. Ah, oh, dang it. I honestly wish more people try out Burnout 3 before they make their decision about uh, make their judgment about 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 uh, Burnout Paradise. At least that. At least I'm more of a, a burnout three sided person. And if there are more OG burnout fans uh, coming by to, to this channel, I would happily try every other burnout games like Legends. Oh wait, Legends the PlayStation game though. Oh, we tapped them. That's even. That's even better. Okay, keep it at that pace. We're just there. Approach it. Touch it. <laughs> We're nowhere near. 
How, how much are we getting? That's silver, that's nowhere near. We need 400, 400 something, right? Ah, oh, dang it. Ooh, 500 is what we need. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try that again. The one where we throw throw ourselves to the to the other side of the street. And grab the 4x and grab the crash breaker. Oh, we're bouncing. Ah, oh, dang it. That didn't do that didn't do Jack. That did not do Jack. I think I would like to put it Burnout 3, but I have no idea how to install it. It probably got get emulator or some something to, to try the game. Um, you can easily find ROMs these days. Um, find find those uh re uh what do you call that? Th those re uh search for redump ROMs. I mean, YouTube, please don't ban me for that. But that I mean that game's already like decades old now. It it sh it, it is it's really really old now. At this point, it. We're we're almost reaching to a point where where this could have been pub a public domain at the, at that point, I mean nowhere near but you you know you know how 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 exaggerated I'm feeling right now but you you could probably find um, ISO files that way and then you can find uh, this nifty emulator is called PCSX2. Look for the nightly version because the stable version is the old version like really really old uh, primarily because um. The devs are not exactly as confident to call to call what they what they reached as stable, per se. But yeah, and in terms of settings, um, I highly recommend you to check out Kuru HS's setup. Kuru has a has has a great configuration guide. Uh, towards like sixty percent into the video, if I'm not mistaken. I highly recommend that. If you have a decent GPU and you're capable of running higher higher resolutions like I do, you can look forward to those upscale textures. I mean, even my current one is actually it's actually upscaled. So, if you like what you see here, you can you can check out the upscale textures. So presume. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm supposed to reach for, for the for the nitrous. Reach for the boost and then maybe tap those buses? Presumably. I assume these rams and everything are red herring. Ow. We have tapped them. Which is good. Good news. Okay. Crash break straight forward. Thank you, Mike. Consider doing so. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Nowhere near the crash breaker because we, we hit we hit those cars at the back, which kind of sucks. Man, I love downtown. All right. Also, if you if you do want some some more burnout uh, setup advice for the emulator, we completely missed them. Would it help? Would that help? <laughs> Did we help? Close enough. Never mind, we did not get the 4x, I just realized that. <laughs> if you're looking for advice, um, I don't mind helping out a little bit. Um, uh, do, do reach out to me on, on my Discord. You can type exclamation mark Discord and, and the bot should give you a link for that. Why do I keep doing that so much? Okay, I think... I don't know if it's wise, but considering we have boost and a lot of a momentum, do you think it makes sense if we hit them from the back and then we fly forward? Like this! Straight past him! <gasps> are we approaching the 4x? Yes! Yes we are! Come on! Yes! We got the forex! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. So I think the bus should give us a lot of money. Combine that with the forex and the crash breaker. I think that should be a whole lot of money. Hopefully. 
We need 500k and we missed a whole lot of buses actually. Oh, actually, we, we're kind of over it. Oh yeah, we are. That's good. Yay, gold medal. That's okay. Um, how many crashes left? Dang it, I lost count. <laughs> I lost count. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, let me just check right now. There are three crashes left for the USA. Right. We're gonna try to complete it all. Finish it all. I hear that the views of Silver Lake are superb Hit and run. Let's see if the title gives us any hint by any chance. Would be nice to, to, to get some hints about it though. Oh, the World Circuit Racer. So presumably we take the Racer, don't don't apply any boost, and hit, jump the ramp, hit straight for the op opposing traffic. I think at least that's what I can see. In that case, I'll probably have to use the first person for precision. What? 4x? Crash break would be optional for me at this point. Yep, optional. Let's take down whatever's ahead. We missed it! <laughs> oh, dang it. That was horrendous. Are we gonna get 5? Are we gonna get. 500k here. I'll join a little bit later, but so far I'm just interested in watching the stream for now. All right, great, great to know. Thank you for thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 120k. Okay, we are well over gold for sure. That's gold for sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna finish everything that that we've started. We're gonna finish everything we've started at this at this rate. Woo. Do we need two streams? Hmm. I wonder. Okay. The last two. The last two crashes of the United States. Before we do. I think we. I think we. I think there will be ti enough time allowing. Uh, I mean, there will be allowed enough time that I'll allow to have a grand a rig a. Oh my God! I could not speak. A Grand Grand Prix spree, 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 bleh, the Grand Prix races. That would be the most intense Grand Prix ever. I don't know what's ahead of me, by the way. This level, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I skipped it by instinct. Let's see what we're getting. So I assume there will be traffic underneath. Wait. Yup, there are traffic underneath. So we'll get the four X and the Crash Breaker together. Yes! And then we'll take them from, from take those from the above. If the if there's anyone above. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun series of crashes. Ooh, here we go. Are we getting anyone from here? Well not possible because that's well out of bounds. So Okay. How much are we getting? We touch no one from above, which is interesting. But we got the four X. We missed the gold. Uh huh. I don't think this is going well for me. All is well. It's funny how this game mode in Burnout Three with crashes reminds me of a different game I was used to play on Unity and in X Ten game game site. Ooh, it's. I I don't think I've heard of that that site. In. I don't know, like I've heard it once ever in my life and never again. Is this enough? Yes! Honestly, I've heard of flat, flat Out because because something interesting about it is that I, I was just as interested in the OST as you are. 
and I and I realized like, oh hey, Flatout has 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 almost the same OSTs left and right, like almost all the OSTs here are there. So I kind of looked into the the game a little, but uh, but sure enough, I'm not really into the the crashes part of things. Like as you can see, it's pretty apparent that I'm trying to catch up with crashes. <laughs> I clearly did not play that. I I clearly did not play that many crashes in in earlier streams. So uh, I really love the races part of of uh, Burnout Three. The race part is just filled with adrenaline and intensity. That's what I love about Burnout. What is this setup? A heartbreaker and a four X directly behind it. We could have just picked up the picked up the ram from the right side then. Holy crap! That is madness. <laughs> In this case, we'll have to use the drift, the drift from the starter to get us over to the other side with enough speed. And then drift, we didn't get the boost, that's fine. We'll pick that up, crash right through, crash break it. We'll use the crash breaker to reach back to the 4x. Back to the 4x. Hopefully we don't touch the heart. That was frustrating! <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the strat. That's the strat. So no night no no boost. No boost is fine. If you're wondering why I did that did that uh the the burnout the burnout drag the tire burnout is because it allows you to have a little split second of micro Micromanaging your your, oh, we got the four X. That was accidental, but I think it will do. At least it. Oh, get those buses. Oh, we should have taken the crash breaker there. I forgot about the crash breaker. Okay, how much are we getting right now? I didn't look at the goal that we need, like how much we need for for gold. 700k was it? So it seems like I have seen it then. Oh, a couple of cash. Oh, this should propel us well over. Yes, that's gold. That's gold. We've got gold in all crash in the United States. Flat out is mostly based on fighting for the first place. You can smash your friends right into the wall and steal first place from him. That's 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 what I love about the game. Plus, the OST makes it better. Hmm. Though I'm more, but but it, <laughs> my English is dying hard. That's okay. That's okay. We all we all slip up on English from time to time. That's fine. Um, honestly, I'm more into the burnout side of of physics because. Uh, watch me play the Grand, Grand Prix and you see what I mean in terms of the physics. It's kind of like it. You get you get tossed around, and you have to try to 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 wrangle yourself back into back into your control. That's what I found fun about Burnout Three, and that's exactly the essence that was lost in Burnout Paradise. In Burnout Paradise, it felt like your car has been super hard, and and you have way more control. But like the control is like too much to the point that it's like, I don't know. It felt like some some essence were lost. At least that's what I'm feeling about Burnout Paradise. Like people are harder to, to take down now, and things get less sumo and more, just stuns and race. It's kind of like becoming, the burnout the the Tony Hawk of burn, burnout at this point. It's like you're not you're not ever motivated to be aggressive like this. God damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Exactly what I'm talking about. Not to mention the meta game with the, with the boost. You don't slam your boost all the way. You use them when you need to. Because 
if you pay attention to the acceler the acceleration, like if you play it on your own and, and watch the acceleration, you realize that putting putting the boost flat out is actually a waste of boost. If you tap them, you get just as much speed as you do with tap with with, with um with flat out. Hey, you see what I mean? That game. <laughs> oh my god, what a pun. Not intended though, but it is kind of fun. So this is a one full lap race around the lakeside getaway, I assume. <laughs> we'll try to get as aggressive as we can, but at the same time, out. Come on, after touch. These AIs are trying to avoid me as much as they can. Ooh. Ooh, okay. At least we got our boost back. Now we gotta chase chase the first placer. There's another thing with the meta with with the game meta is that the first placer is always the runner, just like I did earlier. So you you will need to farm a lot of boost and chase catch up to that guy, or else you'll never get first place that way. If you don't if you don't do that, you'll never get first place. It's actually really hard. The pity si Oh my god. I could have died to his aftertouch. Holy. And you gotta watch- you gotta not hug the wall too much. If better- it would be better if you can stay in center and wrangle- and, and, and maintain a level of self-control. Because if you hug the wall there might be cr grooves like these that you can throw people into. Like that. See? Ow. You would die from that. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'm off the plate. Okay, take, take care, Robbie. Have a good night. Ow. Dang it. Fifth, six. Let's farm some boost from this guy. Okay. 4x. Forward. See if we can catch them. We're so far into the, the lap for now, so I think it will be really, really hard to get first place from here. But considering it's a Grand Prix, I think there might be some chances. Yeah, we're just past the bridge, so one more lap, one more lap around the other side, and then and then that's that should be the finish line. Oh, there's the gang, the middle gang, and ahead of us should be the Thai Cent City Center. Okay, farm some more bit a uh, boost. Skip that guy. Go gun for the first placer. Because I think he would be spending all of his boots, boots running away from the, the, the chaos. Ah, shoot. No, please, respawn now, respawn now. Come on. Go, 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 go. If you're wondering where I got all this information, this is all the information I've accumulated. Oh my god, that was... This is all the information I've accumulated as I play ac across the span of a whole a decade and a half. Yes, I played this game that long ago. Probably even well into a couple years after after its release. Like my dad just casually bought a PlayStation without my mom's knowledge and then gave me this game and then I'm like, "Whoa." Ah, <laughs> oh, we did not get first place. Should we try that again? Unri unironically flat out two or ultimate carnage is really not that punishing if you need to miss if you miss the corner. You most likely be able to catch up to the, to the AI. Not always though. Not a while ago fl flat out UC got update. I see. Well in burnout it's actually very unforgiving. Which is which is actually the challenge behind the game. It's actually what makes it Intense and fun. Got update on Steam for some reason. Some Zoom platform 
bought out the rights and, or something and managed to update the game. They added achievement system and broke as well many things. <laughs> ah, as always, corporates, honestly. <sighs> ah, you know what? I'm not really satisfied. I want to I wanna gun for the first place. But first, I would like... I would like to have a short toilet, toilet break. A quick one minute one. So give me a second, all right? Uh, where's the BRB screen? Here you go. We. Right, I'm back. Honestly, I would have loved to snack, but I ran out of snacks. <laughs> I'm, I'm just that dead broke. <laughs> uh, however, I got I got a packet of spaghetti. I'll probably celebrate this game with, with a spaghetti. <laughs> I'll probably make some spaghettis. I mean, I don't really have much f for, for toppings on spaghettis. I could probably mince some, some spam. And then put a little bit of parsley, I assume. Oh, 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 that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. That chain reaction. The AI is a really ruthless. Oh, okay. They are all ruthless. Game on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we missed him. Nope, you're not going to shunt me. You're not gonna slam me. Hoi! Okay, so if you're wondering how these AIs are ruthless. Ouch. Come on, after touch. After touch! Damn it! No, after touch! Okay. So if you're wondering how these AIs are ruthless, they, they're judging by aggression levels. Like, you know how Smash has this, uh, Smash Brothers has this thing where it's like, the more you hit, the more vulnerable, the more vulnerable to get, to get sent off the, the, the stage you get. Well, the Burnout has similar of this thing, very similar. So if you look at the, if you look at the placement marks, or, uh, on the placement marks, there will be colorings. And the redder it gets, the more aggressive it is towards you and you'll have to watch out for them because they will actually get smarter at, at being aggressive at you so instead of vulnerability levels it's more towards aggression levels that's kind of how the burnout ruthless ai system works like look at him he's he's normal right right and then we go touch him a little bit oh uh, thanks for dying in my place <laughs> When it gets red, it gets hyper aggressive. Hyper in the sense that he will gun for you at 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 at, at all stops. Kind of impressive, isn't it? To fit it all, fit all this AI tech. Uh, I mean, this. I mean, it is technically AI. It's artificial intelligence. It has an intelligence. To some extent. Oh, okay. Oh shoot. To fit to fit the level of algorithm into into a DVD, of a, a four gigs DVD. 
maxing out the size of, of how much a DVD can fit. It's genuinely impressive though. I mean, sure, the, the, bulk, the bulk of what's in the DVD would have just been the texture files. Okay, at least we can we 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 are aware that as last seen that the first placer was was with a group. So that means we technically will be able to see them fight. There is a there is a slim chance that he could slip out of the gang, the fighting gang and run away. So we have to gun for the first place now. We can't farm takedowns yet until we reach this guy, this second placer. From, from the looks of it, oh, he is battling with the first placer. Oh, he died! Okay, we don't got f we don't got boost farming. We're going straight for the first placer to farm that. Okay, that was intense. Slow down a little so we can have have a more approach to fight him. At least slam him like that. There we go. Here's another fun fact, it's aggression levels go down go down when he respawns. So to tame it, you kill him. Kind of funny, isn't it? Thanks. I think the finish line should be a hit. Let's gun for it. Let's gun for the finish line. Alright, hopefully we don't die from here. We'll take the safer route. No, why do you- Oh my god, that was risky! Gun for it. Everything we got. Yes! Whew. First place. Next race. Remember, this is a Grand Prix. This goes to various locations. We got- this is not the end of the fight yet. Excuse me. In case you're wondering, I have tea. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 what was that car- that initial carnage? Holy shoot. Looks like everyone got, got into the crossfire, except for the first placer from the looks of it. Okay, we'll have to... Use grinding to, to take, take, take their boost off. You're two seconds behind the third placer, presumably. Come on, give me those boosts right now. Car takedown. <laughs> okay. We're in Europe, particularly Germany, or, a, a, or as this game calls the Winter City. Oh. We're back in the Alpines. Two seconds behind. Okay, interesting info. From the third placer though, sadly. Where the first? Oh, I see the first. Don't even need to look at the marker. No marker needed. I can see him. There you are. I'm gunning for you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha, serves you right. <laughs> Full boost. Two laps. Interesting. Wow, that tap was lucky. Because he was hitting my sides. It's... a aftertouch. Wasn't expecting any of them. But if you play this on an Xbox, you actually get more finer control to, to, to how you drift. Playing on a PlayStation is like the hardcore when it comes to, to acceleration. Because cause you only got on and off the throttle. 
You only got on and off the throttle. And you have to control it heavily by letting go. Or using the brakes as much as you can. Whereas on Xbox, you ha uh, they use triggers. Come on. We got two laps. We got a lo lot of chance. We got a whole lot of chance. We just need to make sure that we get someone so we can farm those boosts. Oh, dang it. We missed them all. There we go. Farming. Here we go. Gunning for the first placer. That's a change of strat. Ooh. Ooh, that was a close call. I saw I saw a marker for a second. I don't know I don't know who that was. Maybe it's just street lights. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm hallucin hallucinating. <laughs> oh, there you are. Second placer. Ah, oh, dang it! I missed him. Wait, wait, wait! We got a chance or after touch. No, we missed him altogether. Wait, what the hell were you doing? Okay, give me the boost now. So on the PlayStation, you use cross to accelerate and um, and square for braking, which is kind of convenient and so uh, when it comes to the controls of the time, but. I don't. I think. I think people nowadays struggle to to get used to this kind of contr controls. Oh, dang it! Yeah, there are there are major difference between between the two. So the so the boost in in PlayStation is um is R one, whereas the boost on Xbox is A. And then for rear cameras, it's uh. I think it was X, which is where Square was. Hey, what do you think of that drift? <laughs> Dang it! I was really going for the style points. <laughs> hey, is there a chance? I don't think so. The first place I might have fled. I think we're likely to get third place only. Should I just retry and gun for the first place? Four seconds behind, yeah, the, the first placer gang is really, really far. In fact... Oh, shoot. Meaningfully, they're at the finish line by now. It's really hard to tell by seconds, honestly. They're likely approaching the finish line by now. So I think we'll have to get really aggressive if we want to catch them. We'll see about that. Let's see. Oh, there's the finish line. Somewhere around here. Yep, they've went past. There's the, there's the third placer in the gang. Yep. So I guess... Oh, we're technically... We're technically first place in the GP. Should we just move on? Or should we or should we retry this race? I have an Xbox controller, so I might as well try the, the game to see the difference. Um, about that, right. Um, if, you're, if you're playing with an Xbox controller on a PlayStation controls, uh, you might actually struggle physically, like in terms of like how you know how Xbox Xbox buttons are not flat; they're a little more curved. You know, you might have a tr you might have a trouble sliding your hand. So for that, I would advise you to just rest your rest your um, a a finger, uh, rest your thumb on like uh, the the middle of your thumb to be on the a finger, and then your your tip of your th thumb to be on on the X. I would advise doing that if you if you want to play that way. Though honestly, it's actually you have way more control doing that even on the PlayStation because PlayStation has a flatter flatter button, so it kind of makes it easier to rest your rest your fingers on. But still, I highly recommend you to play with a with a PlayStation control, even if it's a DS3, DS3, DS4, DualSense. 
either or either of them. I highly recommend playing with the PlayStation controls. It's much it's much better experience that way. You know how it's how it's like and how it's like to actually play that way. I would always go for the first place. But I guess that's your choice. Actually, you know what? Let's not settle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what one of the biggest problems in this alpine environment is? Snow blindness, wide outs, it's such Ooh, okay. So there's one thing to take note about having em having emulators. Unlike unlike typical ga typical gamer setups, um GPU is not always the first thing you want to look out for. It's CPU. Because back then, retro consoles back then are heavily CPU ended. So so um when emulating when emulating consoles back uh, of the old times, a, mo a lot of the workload that was that could have been logically the GPU's job is done by the processor instead. So like example uh, colors color hand uh, handling the colors in this game is also handled by the CPU mostly you c uh, in, in in PCSX2 there is a way for you there is an option for you to offload it to the GPU but I don't really see the point because that brings that brings a, a little more head extra head latency headroom for for the GPU considering how the CPU is is what wanted the colors but but you let the GPU do the job. That means you're introducing more um, round time round trip latency for from from the processor to the GPU back to the processor through the motherboard. Keep that one in mind if you're a PC enthusiast. So CPU is the more important part in terms of emulations of, for for any retro games because. Because um, uh, even even console games till till now, like PlayStation Four and Five, they all have what's called an APU, which is um, kind of like an all-in-one kind of system on a chip, but not really. Like the RAM is still kind of outside of the chip. But um. But it's technically like a, sec a, a certain stage before an all-in-one, like a system on a chip. Hey, aftertouch. And there's the whole gang. Except for the first placer. Gun for him! Ooh, that drift was satisfying. Holy. He's running away. He's fleeing away. We're not letting him go ever. Three seconds ahead. Okay. Let's take them. So, um, in emulators, you would want more clocks than more cores, because more cores is more towards productivity workload. You would want more clock speeds over more over more core count. So that means if you're on if you're on a Ryzen processor, you would want to be at least on the fifth gen. To, to get the optimal experience. I mean, the second gen works if you're just playing, but if you're streaming, you would want to be on the fifth gen Ryzen. Whereas on Intel, um, most Intels should be at five gigahertz clock speed by now. Then, then you you have to gun for four cores at least. At least that's what you would want. And for GPU wise, you would want. An RTX 3060, 50, 50 would do if you're playing in 1080p only. Come on, give me an after touch. Yes, there we go. Anyways, um. Oh no, give me the after touch. Give me the after touch. Give me the after touch. Yes, there we go. Give me that boost. Okay, so if you're playing on 1080p, I think the 3050 would would suffice. But if you're playing on 4K like I am, then you would want 
you would want a a 30, 30 60 if you're streaming No, we're getting close to the finish line, dang it! Come on, get the other guy, get the other guy. We're missing him. Ah, uh, That was frustrating. Oh, dang it. We lost everything. Oh wait, we're not, we're not there yet. We have a chance, we have a chance. Okay, right, where was I? Um, so if you're on an Intel processor, um, it would be nice if you have the, the, the ones where it has efficiency cores and perf uh, performance cores so that you can, you can offload your Windows, Windows task over the, to the efficiency cores and then PCSX2 entirely on the performance cores. Then you get maximum emulation performance. I highly doubt I'm ever gonna stream Burnout 3 just to play. That's it. Yeah, good enough then. I guess I guess the second gen Ryzen or or the or the bare minimum of of, of how much Windows 11 supports, like the 11 gen or is it? Or 10 gen or, or the 8th gen, I think. I think it's the 8th gen. Somewhere around that league, you should be fine. You should be absolutely fine. And the runner is running four seconds ahead. We're doomed. We're doomed. If there are any patches, uh, emulation patches, I highly recommend you read up on it if you can. Oh, we're just behind him. Come on. Kill him and run away. That's the goal now. Or just run away. The finish line is just ahead. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> We got full GP points! Yes! <laughs> Woo! That was intense. Right. Um, I think 8 Gen 86... 8600... would actually suffice. Is the Ryzen 2600 good enough for streaming? Hmm... Thinking about it... If you have everything off, like your background processes, if you don't have that much pro background processes, like you have barely anything, like, like you only got Discord and and maybe and maybe like a couple of productivity, like one or two productivity stuff, like Team Viewer, then I think it should be very enough for streaming in 1080p. For that one, you would have to rely on your graphics graphics power to, to, to encode the video. If you're on AMD, uh, that would be a tough position. Slightly tough position, especially when OBS is very Nvi NVIDIA-sided. Sure, they have implementations for, for, for AMD, and, and, and AMD's and, and, and its open source crew, uh, what, did, what did they call them themselves? Open GPU, I think? Um, they, they're, they're, they're pretty open-minded and they're open to collaborations with OBS as well. Since they're both both um, AMD's open source division and, and OBS are both open source uh, open source people. So I think they would work well. But there are also times where Nvidia just gets a little bit, you know, a little bit of a clingy girlfriend, you know, that kind of moment with OBS. Even recently, they've just did, they've just did an exclusive build. Uh, an open beta exclusive build for OBS multi-streaming multi with NVIDIA. I mean, not multi-streaming, more like multi-transcoding. OBS transcoding to comply with Twitch's, uh, Twitch's efforts to offload the transcoding work from Twitch's end to the streamer's end instead. Oh, that was fun. The reason why I said it, it should be fine is because it's because um, my previous processor is a 2700X. If you didn't know, that's I don't blame you honestly. And um, let's just say I blew something up in in the chipset that causes that causes um, M.2 storage to lose out connections which means also blue screening really hard at the same time. 
which left me with no choice but to sink my entire bank account and purchase a brand new Ryzen process, a brand, brand new Ryzen chipset. Because here's the problem: if I pick up a B550 motherboard, it's not going to support the second gen Ryzen. So there's there's no point keeping there's no point keeping the Ryzen processor. Not to mention, I didn't I don't know what I don't know if the damage is it happens to also you know hit. Oh my god. I don't know if the damage that I caused has hit the processor's end as well. It's really hard to tell. Like, processor damage is something that you can't see with, bit, with naked eye. It's really, really hard, hard, really, really hard to see with, with a naked eye. And at the time, I, I, I can only at best speculate that it is both the motherboard and processor issue. So what I did is I I I, I did an I, I forced myself to, to an upgrade. I literally sank my, my entire bank account and I now have barely any dollars in my bank account. Uh yes I, I did, it's also why I said I'm dead broke. <laughs> in I bought the Ryzen fifty seven hundred X, I think. Was it the fifth gen? Yeah, the 5700X and the B550 motherboard. Just to keep it up to standard to, to, to my needs in because uh, the, the, the performance for the 5700X compared to the 2700X is really not too different but there are some noticeable performance bumps for some things that that were previously bottlenecked by, by uh, the half uh, but by having only half half the level 3 cache that the 2700X has sorry, the 5700X has so like this 5700X only has uh, has 32 kilobytes of meg uh, 32 megabytes of level 3 cache and 2700X only has half of it and there are some games where I actually notice like 10 10 to f 10 to barely non nothing FPS bump because it's very dependent on whether they need that much level 3 cache. Which, whereas clock speeds is relatively a little bit higher, you know, a tad a bit higher. Like the clock speeds are not too different. Um, the 2700X boosts at, at 4.2 gigahertz. This thing boosts up to 4.5 4. at peak. So... It's not too much different. So it kind of felt like home for me. I have a GTX 1060 as much as I'm used to streaming. Sometimes it's just pain in the ass to set up everything and blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say that's not my thing. I see. Well, for me, I'm more of a metho uh, somewhat methodical person. I like more chaos than methodical, but there are some things that were critical to me that I want to be methodical on like stream setups I don't like I don't like um, my stream layouts like my overlays to be unplanned it's terrible imagine accidentally leaking unnecessary information because you set something wrong that would be bad I always plan to upgrading my PC but never get to it Oh, that's fine take your time um, in terms of Having a 1060, I have a laptop that was a 1060, with its processor being the 8750H HQ, I think. No, H, 8750H, which is the the more power saving portion a uh, version of of uh, the 8700, which means its clock speeds is, in fact, half it, which is quite bad. Oh right, speaking of that. When this PC died, right, back in the 2700X period, when the whole motherboard goes to shit and my PC died and I, I, was, at an, I was at a very emotionally dark state, I, I, I was really, really close to just ending it all because I was really, really broke at the time. And, um... Alright, I should take this good opportunity to... to, to now that we're here, to, uh, now that we're, we're here talking about, about this, I... I'm really grateful for this impeccable timing of Lunar New Year's since I'm a Mandarin speaker and, and I'm a Chinese speaker and 
and I do set, I do observe Luna New Year. So I visited a whole lot of a whole lot of families' houses and collected red packets. Which, if you didn't know, Luna New Years for for Chinese are cel uh, celebrate celebrating pros uh, gifting prosperity. So the unmarried the, the married would gift a small pocket of cash to the unmarried that 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 visits their house to um to send some blessings i guess give some blessings for their presence to give it, uh, to bring up livelihood to the house and and bless this house by just being lively so so i i went through a lot of houses and <laughs> if you have heard of doki bird talking about it you know what i mean then <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically just that, min-maxing the red packets. <laughs> so, not just that, I also want to thank, thank massively, because at least 40% of the cash, 40% of the cash that, um, that, that, that I spent into getting this current processor came from a very specific special friend of mine. I I see him as a very unique friend of mine for for being for, for always having my back even be it be it on in spirit or financially but re but regardless I genuinely see him as, as as a really close friend of mine so let me just put it up on screen and and t and talk about this a uh, talk about the sponsor spot because I I, I felt I felt bad taking in money not not giving not giving him something in return so I thought, let's make an ad. Let's bring him a sponsor spot as well, when, whenever appropriate. Yes, specifically whenever appropriate. I don't like throwing in sponsors like blindly because that's freaking stupid. Okay, here we go. Here comes the ad read. <laughs> right. Are you looking for a great junk cleaner on Android? Well, look no further to look no further to estimate SE. It's a it's one of the greatest Android junk cleaners out there that cleans up. Cleans up pesky junks that you you might have missed out. Sure, it may function the same as C Cleaner and AVG Cleaner, but but have you seen no ads? Exactly. Estimate SE has absolutely no ads, barely any tracking. There's there's little to no tracking. If anything, if anything, he's only collecting stats about how many people use a certain device so that he can improve improve this uh, this app. Catering to this specific large, uh, what you call that, um, population of such users. Say, say for example, there's a huge amount of Indian users that happen to use a, a phone model, a niche phone model called Geo. Then he could he could research into if there's anything different that needed adjustments for those models, because um, for particularly the app cleaner, aka the the typical thing that that you would auto click into app info and clear cache and those kinds of things all automated it differs from manufacturers so like from pixels to AOSP to to Samsung to Xiaomi to Red, uh to to Honor all the different phone models they all have different steps and the the sole developer Darkin in uh relies on you fellow guys the community on keeping keeping the support alive so so if you're looking for an ad free hassle free tra um what do you call that hassle free app cleaner and junk cleaner look no further to the sdma se on the google play store and github if you if you can't use the google play store especially those of you who who are using a google a D Google Android. Do check him out on GitHub, and if you need any support, do check out Discord. Either me, either me or Darken would be there to help you. Whew. Man, that's a mouthful. I'm taking a sip of tea right now. Just sorry, give me a second. <laughs> Right, let's get it out. <clears throat> now that we've gone through the ad read. But yeah, 
if it weren't for him, if it weren't for him, I genuinely wouldn't have been back streaming a whole lot of stuff. I, man, I felt like I've taken too too, too many chances. I should give back to the community at some point. Honestly, that's good for you to manage to get out of this horrible state you were you were in, and I'm glad your friend managed to support you along the way. It's always good to have someone along the way to help you out. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad to have. I'm glad to have Dark Darken, the developer of S Estimate SE, to be to be to have my back. I mean, not all the time. It's fine. It's fine for him to be to to have my back only in spirit because, as far as far, as I mean, as much as I like, as much as I hate asking for help, I mostly only ask for spiritual help, like just emotional help. Keep me up. Keep me up to my feet. Maybe I might think of some things some other ways. In fact, if you check my YouTube channel. If you check my YouTube channel on the video section, excuse me. Um, there are two videos. The um, the wild card cover, and an ASMR roleplay. These two videos were made entirely on my cell phone, on my on particularly the iPhone 12 Pro Max, because at the time both computers went down. Both the laptop I just mentioned and this PC went down. And I and I couldn't get it back up. It it was so it was such a scary moment for me. And and then at one point I just thought, cry, crying does no good. Fuck right off. Just we we have to think about something that we can make out of out of this phone. We haven't we ha we don't pay we don't pay ex exorbitant amount of money for this iPhone just just to not do anything right. It's not flex. I don't like flexing money. I want to make a, make the most out of that thousand dollars I paid for it for this iPhone, so I so I literally make content creations on iPhone. Kind of wild now that I think back about it. It's some levels of dedication, I guess, because I I, I legit have some. I legit have some degree of uh, dedication for for content creations. In fact, I was on the verge, by the way, I was legit on the verge of creating burnout content on an Android phone. I have a secondary Android phone for, uh, well, let's just say, let's just say things didn't go well on my Android journey. And, and I had to, I had to pick up an, I mean, how do I say this? There were things that were really hard to explain to people who are not in the know of, of the specific nooks and crannies of, of Android and iOS. As outside of just talking about the, the the ecosystem and the wall garden, I do hate the wall garden. I'm there. I, I bought the phone for the performance, not the wall garden. So everything I've used so far on this iPhone have been outside the wall garden. I've gone as far as using using an alternative synchronization service for for my photos in 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 replacement of iCloud. And it's not so bad. In fact, it's synchronized more frequently than iCloud itself. So, I'm not I'm not complaining. One or what's what what what's of what's of one or two bucks? I can fix them myself. As long as I don't have to I don't have to pay exorbitant amount of subscription money. Cuz I'm there for the hardware, not the software. I mean, sure, the software iOS has a lot of Optimizations to their own processor because they they know themselves better, but we're not we're not talking about iOS as an ecosystem. We're talking about iOS as a performance. Ow, dang it! I'm not sure if I talk if I can talk about this, so I will just say keep it up working on videos. When I was away from my home, I had to use my laptop to make videos. It was not that good, but it's still better than nothing. If you can always get out of a situation, that's good. Yeah, I know, right? So, so what the iPhone brought me was a revival for, for my drive for content creation. Because, get this, iMovie existed, Adobe Premiere Rush existed, why not? Not to mention, if you happen to have like small pockets of money, like, I don't know, easy 20-ish easy 20 20 -ish euro or 29 bucks, Pick up Luna, Luma Fusion. It's a full-fledged video editor for iOS and iPadOS. Maybe even macOS, I think. I don't know if it if it counted macOS in as well. 
But for that one, for that, for that price of one, one unit, you get unlimited installs for as long as you have, for as long as you have the amount of devices that that it takes for that. Like if you have five iPads, who the fuck cares? You're paying for one. That's insane amount of value right there. For for a full fledged editor that does just as much as DaVinci Resolve as well. It's insane! I mean, I haven't got Luma Fusion yet because I don't got the money yet, but I am very impressed by the features that, that were provided by Luna, Luma Fusion. Not to mention, a lot of people actually recommended Luma Fusion to me. Like, within the Apple space, that is. Because, like, Final Cut Pro, while, while as awesome as they are, they, they are just as buggy as well. Uh, they're just as buggy as their macOS counterpart. And they, they also have holes, missing holes of features just like their macOS counterpart, there are just a lot of disappointing things on, 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 on Final Cut on iPad. So, for the price of Final Cut, you get Luma Future, Fusion for way more features than what Final Cut offers. Why not? Right? I mean, here's the crazy effect. Android side, you're not left out because Luma Fusion just got released on the Android side as well. And you get the same feature as what you get on the iOS. No difference. Just, just same experience. So that's kind of fun, actually. And okay, I, I'm shilling really too hard about about them um, about expensive softwares. Let's get back to about. Let's get back to what I what I used for. For um for what I, what happened to me during during the uh, the mobile content creation period. So, I've never tried con making content on phone. I only used it for recording my voice, and then, and even then, there there's indeed a lot of people that make good content on phone. I don't understand people that buy many phones and then left them out. Ooh, fuck! Yes, I felt that. Right. Um, about that, I'm the kind of person who looks at cr company credibility. If you can make a phone, support it for long periods of time, you sold me. So iPhones, without opening their mouths, have, have achieved seven average of seven years of constant, constant uh, software, uh, firmware support. Whereas, whereas, and, whereas on the Android side, it's only this year that we only start to see Pixel 8 Pro, not the vanilla, the 8 Pro being promised seven years of updates. I hope they keep that promise because they really got to catch up to, to Apple's in terms of longevity of updates. And Samsung just recently upped it to like four years, five years, I think. Kind of disappointing, but I wish they could do a little longer, like genuinely five years, six years would be nice. Five, six years is like the average time a general person break their phones, even if they're just binging Facebook videos and stuff. So I think it will be a sweet spot. That's my complaint towards the Android side of the community. But if anything, blame the corporates because the communities are trying really hard to keep their phones alive already. Okay. With, for as long as they unlock the bootloader and let the open source community do their job. So OnePlus in his past, before the 7, like maybe six, five, four, three, two, one, one plus one, all these phones, they managed to sustain very long periods of, of uh, maintenance because they allowed the community, they openly allowed the community to keep the phones alive through, of, through s official community support, which is big thumbs up to the old one plus. Current one plus is a bit disappointing. They are kind of getting a little more freemium now. You know, it's a little disappointing sometimes. However, the guy behind it, the CEO, sorry, the co-founder behind that mentality, Carl Pei, opened what, nothing, nothing Inc. to create Nothing Phone with, well, he's trying to keep keep up with that level of community support. So he promises to allow the community to to create custom, oh shoot, custom OSs for. For his phones, which is awesome, 
genuinely awesome. But official support is left a lot to be desired, you know. Two years for a nothing phone one is a bit too short. It's going to it's going to die out soon. Not to mention how long has the one plus uh, sorry the nothing phone one been been out for? We're we're just one year into the chopping block, and then for the nothing phone two. He says four years. Oh my god, I might as well just restart this race. <laughs> Dang it, I crashed too much. Oh my god. Okay. The Nothing Phone 2 was like four years if I'm not mistaken, if I if I heard that right. It's mmm. They're a little confused. I can keep one phone alive for at least two years. It will slowly reach its inev inevitable death. Eventually you gotta buy a new phone, but oh well, I try to make the best use of, of it as much as possible. Well, for me, I like to keep the phone as, as alive as long as I can. And usually what dies would usually be the hardware, then the software. I mean, no, the software first, then the hardware. So like, it's always, it's always the company that cuts us off before we can, like, like imagine this, right? Imagine, imagine, we're talking about Huawei. Yes, Huawei is one of those companies that, that only promises two years of updates. Imagine using your phone in the absolute mint condition for two years straight. With, with it being capable of being used for another five years straight, only for no updates to come because they cut it off. And then you're now left out with, sec uh, with security vulnerabilities and you're being, you're, being, uh, you're being peer pressured to pick up a new phone because of that stupid reason. And it's just like, I honestly think these corporates are just there for profit. They're here for your money than, your, than, than, than anything about quality. It just kind of sucks. Whereas on, whereas on Apple's side, uh, fair share. They are there mostly for profit, but at least what they cared about is keep the phone al alive until it, it can no longer sustain. That's kind of their, their mentality. So like, they only discontinue phones if, if the next update can, uh, if, the, if the said phone cannot keep up with the next update in terms of like say, responsiveness and stuff. Only then they stop which is really the one thing I really appreciate from Apple's side. Sure, they have done a lot of wall garden shit, but they can't really do too much wall garden stuff because, hey, 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 if you have listened to the, to the US uh, recent lawsuit, it seems like Apple's being called out. <laughs> well, at the moment, it's, it's, it's about the RCS, the, the iMessage thing, but I think I think the, the, the Department of Justice could do better than that. Oh my god! No! Don't send me there! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. So... Don't take my word for it. Ask, uh, ask other, uh, other long-term iPhone friends you, you happen to have. See how long they have held onto an iPhone until this until security updates discontinued, and their phone finally like physically dies due to whatever like drops or, or or, actually don't talk about drops, or maybe like battery degradation, or just undesirable for performance in terms of performance. You can ask those people, and they will tell you that it will last you at least five years. I know, I know, I have. Because, because if you have watched, I mean, if you have checked, I mean, those, those existing people who have seen my battery replacement stream, my iPhone battery replacement stream, I recently swapped out the battery for, the, for an iPhone 6. This iPhone 6 held close to my heart for various different reasons. For one, they just discontinued security updates for it just as in like this year, I think this year or last year, sometime around then. Which means this phone is officially end of life. However, everything else in the phone is perfectly fine. So I thought, let's fix the battery. We can use it for something else. There are still apps that still support on the app store. We're not out of the woods yet. I mean, I, I won't be using anything critical mission. So like, I won't be using WhatsApp on that phone, obviously. But I could do experiments like, say, Obo Track, which is a, a VR tracker, f 
by using your phone. That would be a pretty cool side project. And it's pretty inexpensive to pick up a, a new battery, a, a new cheapo battery from, from AliExpress, as long as you know where to get them from. And I had mine replaced by myself on stream, so if you're interested in that, do check out that stream VOD. It's the, the, the archive is still on the live tab, so I had lots of fun talks about, about the comparisons between Android versus iOS. My, my stance is, my stance is, I may lean on Apple side only for the longevity purpose. I'm not there for their wall garden, I'm not there for their, for their profits. I'm there for their innovation and longevity. That's the two important aspects I'm there for. Sure, they have spent exorbitant amount for, for R&Ds, but at least that's a sacrifice made for innovations. At least if they're creating something original. Well, the Apple Vision, Apple Vision seems not exactly original, but close to original to some extent. I do find it pretty cool that about the, the whole pinching thing. But I think I think it's just a matter of Meta making the jankier version of it at the at the start and then Apple just picked up every mistake from it and then learned from it. And then just research on how do I make it better than Meta. TM. <laughs> I guess I mean honestly I would think that MetaQuest MetaQuest 3 would be the pioneer for the for the hand gestures. Ow, shoot, no! No, 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 no! The finish line was just ahead! The finish line was just ahead, right? Oh wait, we're just the first, we're on the first lap. Hold on, we're not out of the woods yet. We still got lots of chance. Oh my god, that scared the living heck out of me. These days, people mostly into money, so if, the, if you get profit from it as much as possible, they'll be, they'll be happy with it. The same can be said with EAs making games. Yep, EAs! <laughs> oh yeah, right, top, I, I've tangent too far. Talking about the iPhone 6 earlier, um, I this iPhone 6, I have used it personally as my daily driver up until it stopped feature updates. There's two stages, feature updates and security updates. So feature updates is like when you go up a generation, like from iOS 12 to 13, 14, 15, something like that. Security updates is like you only get minor updates per, um, per whenever Apple feels like pushing out. But they push they pushed out updates very frequently though. So huge respects to that. Whereas Google decides to release theirs on a monthly basis because they, they know they can't trust themselves with <laughs> pushing out when they feel like it. <laughs> Comedically at least. <laughs> so Um where was I? So this iPhone I've used down to when when they stop feature updates, which is like seven whole years since I bought that phone. I stopped using at the seventh year because I was upgrading to to an iPhone 12. Well, not really. I had I had a journey on, on the Android side. When I say a journey, I mean like I, I I ventured into the wildest side of Android to understand everything in an Android. So like one of which is um. My first Android introductory was a Nexus 6P, a Google Nexus 6P, or, or, or known internationally as the Huawei Nexus 6P. So if you... Why you kamikaze car? Oh, aftertouch. <laughs> hey, Solus, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Right, talking back about, about the phone. Um, in between those two iPhones, I between the iPhone 6 and the 12 Pro Max. I, I had quite a wild ride on the Android side. So my first Android introductory, I wouldn't say introductory, more like I've already been in, a, been in an Android space a long time ago. My first ever Android phone was the, Goog, the, the Sony Xperia Mini. Xperia X10 Mini particularly, sorry. If you're, if you, if you're an OG of Sony, if you're Sony OG, and you know the X10 Mini, oh, that that thing running on Android 2.2, holy. Okay, anyways, back to that. So my, my first introduction to, to, to the modern Android was um, was the next was a Google Nexus 6P or internationally as 
as the as the Huawei Nexus 6P, because Huawei is the one that's many that manufactured the parts. And I don't know what's up with the U.S. They like to label it as Google Nexus 6P in in the U.S. It's kind of weird. But um, the Nexus 6P was uh, what I wanted. Wanted was I did a whole lot of research behind that, and and I learned. I found out that Android updates are very company dependent. So so I wanted the freshest updates from 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 Google, the source itself. So so I know how the update update ranges is like from the big boss itself, and how how a stock Android feels. But let's just say things did not go right. I picked the wrong model because what happened to me was it's only a it's only barely a year and the phone and the battery started decaying. So I thought, okay, maybe it's just me playing too much Honkai Impact. But after a lot of researching and googling, I found out that I was not alone in this problem. It's actually a, a fatal problem with the battery on 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 Huawei's end. The but 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 Huawei kept throwing the blame at Google, and and Google doesn't want to take the blame and throw it back at Huawei. It's like playing hot potato left and right. It pisses me off. And then it got so bad that two tech two random Texans filed a massive lawsuits for for the millions of nexus 6p users for <laughs> against uh, and bring it up to i don't know if they brought it up to the supreme court but but the lawsuit ended with google conceding and google willing to compensate what like 400 bucks only are you kidding me 400 bucks and get this that's e here's even worse for us residents only <laughs> So us, so us Europeans and Asian users are just completely out of, completely out of the, out of compensation. We're not, we're not compensated. We're left with a dead ass phone. I was so furious because, get this, I'm the kind of person who's sympathetic and 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 I and, and I care about my parents a lot. So that's like, that's like a lot of money gone. Like roughly four hundred ish bucks gone. For a for just one year of usage, one. Oh, any. Ah, oh, oh my god, my 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 throat this my throat's hurting. I'll continue this topic once I'm done sipping my tea. And here's the gold. <laughs> okay, so. Well, the Nexus 6P was pretty pretty low price at the time, so so yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. At least four hundred in in. Um, wait, no, it's not four hundred. Hold on, four hundred in the old days in the old days US bucks. So that would be. Accounting for inflation. I assume it would be 600 yeah close to 600 I assume I don't I don't know how much that is in US cuz because because I, I I live somewhere in Asia to which I wish I wish to not disclose and we had it we had it in a pretty low price affordable price at least maybe like give or take a, a couple of percentage Lower than the U.S. U.S.'s price. Anyways, back to that. Back to the whole Android journey that I had. Those four hundred bucks they could spend on a gambling. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I was so furious at Google because it was only a year, and I'm and I'm not and and, and I was nothing but a student. I got no fucking money. <laughs> So in, in, in an act of emergency, I had to jump back to my iPhone 6 where the battery is already very degraded. So I had to bring a power bank in my pocket at all times. A battery bank at least that for, for you US people. A, a, bat, a, 
I don't know, you call them berry bank, I guess. We call it a power bank here. But but yeah, um I had to carry that all at all times and it's my permanent it's kind of like think of it like a life support for this phone. <laughs> for that for that for that past like couple of months, 4 months at least. Cuz I was doing extensive research about about what other phones I could pick up from the Android side because I really insist to, 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 to get on the Android side. Madam, I request that I be compensated the bare minimum of insert funny numbers here in order to fully alleviate me from the trauma I, I have from, faced from, from your underappreciated electronic device. I wished I could tell Google that! Holy shoot. But yeah, right. Um... <sighs> My god, that was a lot of yapping. <laughs> okay. So I did this extensive research and I thought, I don't want to pick up Samsung because my, my parents had Samsungs and there were loads of bloatwares. And it was so stuttery. Like if you don't take care of it at least, if you're not tech savvy enough, you don't know performance improvements and, sh and stuff. Like uh, clearing out cache, clearing out your storage, get fast, fast uh, SD cards if you want. If you want um, fast transfers over to, to the SD cards, like if you don't know any of these, your phone can really get stuttery for real. It was so bad. Those who remember the Touch TouchWiz era, like before the One UI, okay. Back then, the launcher for mention is called TouchWiz, and it was so, 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 so stuttery. It's so bad that you have to install third-party launchers just to fix that problem. So the launcher I, was u I, I, gave, I gave my parents were Nova launchers, which is kind of like a more customizable variant of a Pixel launcher, I guess. You can check them out right now on the Play Store, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you have no performance issues. But yeah. So I gave them Nova launcher as like the temporary fix, because they were holding onto their phones for for like well over the update period. It was so sad. And and I don't know how to explain to a non-tech savvy parents. It's so hard for me to explain that. So I I wanted to avoid the same mistake. But it seems like I made another bad mistake. <laughs> another bad decision at the time because what happened is that I picked up the Razer phone 1 the amount of middle fingers Google gave to Europe and Asia might, might be over 400 true true they have already fucked us over too hard my god like there's no official pixel resell uh, pixel sellers here we have to rely on importers that provide us the, the same level of warranty as, as what Pixel provide us with. Okay, back to that. I picked up the Razer phone. To those who have the Razer phone 2 at least, you know what I'm talking about. So what happened is that I picked up the Razer phone and I'm gonna get some TP right back. All right, take your time. Come on, crash in! Give me the crash breaker. There we go. Make some more mess here. Damn it. All right. Whew. I should call my throat down. There was a lot of yapping I've done. Oh my, the lag. Hey, gold medal. Wonderful. Also, my tea has gone stale. I think I should re. I should rebrew that. <laughs> Yo, optimum pride though. Putangina <laughs> babe si Optimum Pride to 
Ah. Yo, that lag was so hilarious. <laughs> That was hilarious. Whew. Man, looking at the time right now. 5.48 AM in JST. I'm not gonna make spaghettis at this point. <laughs> I'll probably have something else for snack. I did not see what's ahead of me. Well, time to hardcore this. The 4x is up there. Okay. Okay, I see what I see what to do now. So we blow up we blow up the oncoming and then we jump back jump back to the rear. I see what we're doing. 800 is the goal. <laughs> okay, so we have to lean left. I missed. I missed it entirely. Okay, let's try it again. <sighs> Come on, 4x. There we go. Crash breaker. Missed it. Well, we blew something up anyways. <laughs> Let me fall on the ground first before I do that. There we go. Now we blew something up. So what we're saying, what you're saying is we're having non-spaghetti based substance. Hmm, that's quite a bold move. I know, right? Honestly, I really wish I had more instant foods. I mean, not instant foods, more like microwavable foods. Something, something like, something like what fact Factor has. But we have the alternative to Factor. We have something that's that's already been been in the in the Asian society for a long time. Frozen foods. <laughs> Frozen meals actually, more accurately. Oh we're well we're well over the goal. I think we're doing fine. What was that rendering bug earlier? Yeah, we're well over. <clears throat> Not to mention these monies. We're definitely well over. Nice. Gold medal. Right. Um, right, let's keep going. Let's keep finish let's try finishing the in all crashes in in all of if anything in, in all of uh, Europe. And then we'll try finishing all all crashes in all of Asia in the next stream. Whew. What should I have for snacks later? I mean, my pantry is pretty slim, actually. There's really not much in, in my pantry. I could cook, cook up some wieners, but I don't think that's worth it. I would have rather done that with the... I would have done that with the spaghetti. Oh, actually, why don't I add it to my spaghetti tomorrow? That would be cool. 520. I did not see what's ahead of me. <laughs> I was paying attention too much to the chat. I was full focus on chat. <laughs> Let's see what we're getting, and then we'll gun for it. Crash breaker and 4x. Gotcha. Crash breaker and 4x. 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 There we go. We've touched someone, which means we we can create a carnage now. Break that towards the other side of the road, cause we t we did we missed it. Oh, we didn't miss much. Hey, we got another truck. I wonder if this is enough. 500 something though. 520 is what, what we're aiming for. So we'll have to hit at least well over 150. Never mind, we're well over. <laughs> yeah, we're hella good. We, we Gucci. Yup, we're doing fine. Alright. I'm back. Welcome back, San. Welcome back. 
Right, back to the Android adventure. So, so I picked up the Razer phone, the Razer phone 1 particularly, and it was their first, uh, Razer's first venture into the Android space and trying to revive a dead, by buying out a dead company called, uh, I forgot the name for it, but, but that company died before, f due to irre irrelevancy. And Razer is trying to use their cloud to to bring to, to jump into the the mobile the mobile phone space, but um, the gaming features were awesome. Were awesome in the sense of well, you can uh, I wouldn't say gaming, more like the ability to set refresh rates was kind of like a first for for the entirety the entirety of Android. So like the Razer phone was the first phone, at least in my eyes, to that has toggleable refresh rates. And a system FPS counter that you can keep an eye keep an eye off for whatever reason. So like if you're scrolling on Facebook, you can you can see how much FPS that that it, it was taking up and stuff like that. And it's all it is also the very tool that that disappointed me. <laughs> well, variable refresh rate is was not a thing at the time. So that means the screen was running a full hundred twenty hertz. Sorry, no, the full 90 hertz, right? No, 120, 120. A full 120 hertz, even though the frame rate says one FPS, it's still refreshing at 120 hertz, at one FPS. This hurts battery life so much. And thermals? Ugh. They got, they got vapor chamber. Awesome. So heat distribution, kudos. Heat distribution, kudos to them. They have done something unique by distributing, by distributing across this metal body, the aluminum body that it has. There's no glass, just aluminum body. Perfect heat conductivity. And a perfect toaster for your hands. <laughs> Just the amount of useful information I got from you is amazing. It's really cool that you have so so many topics to talk about and especially about electronics. Thank you so much for that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm actually like like lore wise, my VTuber lore wise, I'm I, I um I, I'm a tech wizardess and um IRL I identify as a trans girl, but I mean that at this point it might be a stereotype to be a tech enthusiast and a trans girl at the same time, but whatever. I, I pretty much got over the stereotype, but <laughs> um, the reason why I call myself a tech visitor is because I like to to actually vocally talk about um, electronic politics. So like, think of it like Jeremy Clarkson, but politically correct and 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 on the on the tech side. <laughs> oh God, why am I making these references? <laughs> Anyways, um, not only it's a perfect toaster for your hands, it's also, well, because of the extreme heat, right, it hurts performance like cra crazy. Because of the amount of thermal throttling going on. Take me to the 4X! 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh my god. Hey, we got more cars. Come on, keep pouring in. There we go. <sighs> okay, right, back to the topic. Um, so, if you, if you allow the phone to keep, keep at a temperature that, that, that is well beyond, well beyond a normal operating temperature, you would... You would more or less, I say, kill the phone. I wouldn't say kill the phone, but you hurt the phone's lifespan a lot more. And because of the heat, if you didn't know, heat hurts battery. So there, there, there's the battery problem again. <laughs> Don't ask what happened there. I'm not really good in electronics, so I can say I can't say much about it. But I just play games, and that's it. I see. But that's fine. I'm trying to explain it in a way that 
it's understandable to the general public because I can understand, especially when I have two parents that that only understand layman terms. Shoot, <laughs> that heartbreak! I slid into the heartbreak. Okay. Okay, what if... What if I skip the bus? I mean, skip the truck. I missed the gold. Smash it. Dead on to the 4X. There we go. <laughs> and then we crash break towards whatever's behind us. Hoi! Touch those buses. Touch that bus. <laughs> and then we got more cars pouring in. Heartbreak cuts the score in half, cuts the money in half. It's the opposite of what you want, literally. Right, so back to back to the Android adventure. So, so not only had I only lasted a year and a half <laughs> with that with that kind of poor battery life because of the heat. Oh wow, we are well over. Okay, right, so I have also only had the worst software experience. Razer, in their infinite wisdom, have no update consistency. It was so bad that my bank called me up for that. Right. Heat, you say, just dunk your phone into into the local community pool problem solved. Well, at the time, the the Razor phone one was not waterproof. However, what I have done, what I had done, is I took a bunch of tissue, cover up the co co cover up the phone, use couple of cubes of ice, and let <laughs> and let the ice coolness cool the entire cooling system. <laughs> I have actually done that just to make sure my phone don't die too crazy. There are also times where I just chuck the phone into the freezer. I highly ad advised against putting your phone in the freezer because condensation means liquid forming inside your phone, which means you could short out some stuff. I don't recommend doing that, but I did that because I wanted to. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So So when so there was a point of time sometime around like 20 2020 they updated us to Android 7 Nougat. And then they ghosted us all together. They ghosted us for a whole damn year. Just let LeBron James handle the, the issue. He's really good at dunking. <laughs> LeBron James! <laughs> ah, so, Razer has abandoned updates for a whole year straight. No security updates, no feature updates, nothing. Not even, like, at the... So... It's so bad that Google had to step forward to make some tiny changes to this, to, to Android as a whole. Which is why you get to see some small things like Google Play system updates separate from the manufacturer's own update. Google issues those kinds of updates instead of the manufacturer. That's because assholes like, <laughs> assholes like, like Razer, exactly. So, Seven months into the into the whole blackout update blackout, where I had no updates, my bank called me up, telling me that the version the version and the security patch of Android that I was using, is no longer in support, by the said bank. And advised me against banking with that Android. Guess what I did at the time? No, I did not revert back, cause. At the time, I didn't know how to self-repair my phones, and shady repair shops scares me, so I did not repair the iPhone. However, what I did is, I again put it back on, on Powerbank Life Support, and used that as 
a phone that I use solely for banking and critical mission items. Anything that requires latest security updates of Android, I have done it on the iPhone again. <laughs> While I still daily drive the Razer phone. <laughs> it's goofy as heck. But what can I do? I need to do my usual banking. I, I may not have much money, but I have pocket money that goes straight into my bank and I need to to move money around so my so so my account is not closed due to inactivity. So you can see the problem I was facing at the time. <sighs> not me accidentally purchasing two years worth of Nord. What do you mean Nord? OnePlus Nord or Nord VPN? Well, <laughs> anyways, um, one and a half year after using the Razer phone, the battery started dying on me. So I had to pick up a power bank that has two ports. <laughs> two ports, keep that in mind. Just to keep both phones on life support. <laughs> and I was... And, and after, after that, Razer finally shipped an update, and I was like, fuck you, I w I'm so pissed at, at, at you right now. And since we're like into the second year into, into it, I figured it would be about time that I make, make, make a run for it, switch to a different phone. So my um, I switched phones. Luckily, I had a contract with, um, I had a, I had a contract with uh, my, my telco, and that there's there there are massive promotions here where where you can get a phone for just a quarter US, literally a quarter. At 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 the at the expense of two years commitment contract, that means a locking contract basically. But it's a very it's a very very good. Very very good deal in my opinion. If you are to pick up a phone that is around like say two hundred bucks, two fifty, somewhere right around that, then then I say it's an amazing deal. Sure, the the, the phone bills may be a bit expensive, but you find yourself using it every month anyways. So I don't really see an issue with that. Ooh, we blew up. Dang it! We have to propel ourselves. Not sure if you're aware of this, but the but the link doesn't work for your Discord server. Hold on, let me check it right now. Oh my god. Where is my tab? I'm gonna have a look at it right now. I'm so sorry for the for the inconvenience. Okay, hold on. Now let me click into the link myself. Are you sure you want to leave YouTube? Yes. Oh. Hold on. Okay, let me diagnose this real quick. That happens. I got you. Okay, that confuses me a lot. That confuses me a lot. I think I know why. But I'll have to take some time to diagnose that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. You would have to remove the slash at the end. What the heck? I have never seen it bugged out like that. That's that's insane. Okay, let me update that real quick on, on Streamlabs. 
uh, on that URL, remove the, the last slash. So basically, it's mail slap, mail slap and ended that way. No, no slashes at the end. That's unique. It refers to something else. Yeah, it, it, it actually belongs, to, it, it belongs to me. That URL belongs to me. It's supposed to redirect straight to my Discord server because I because I, I I didn't want to pay for a vanity vanity URL, but I want something that's also just as just as uh, uniquely remembered. So I self-hosted a link shortener service for myself. <laughs> yes, a whole lot of things that you see under Itoshio.moi is actually self-hosted. So I I hosted this under under my own hardware. So there are a lot of things that were that that are under my under my control. Right, I'm terribly sorry about that that um, that that mistake. I should go fix that right now. I didn't think that a slash would ruin the whole the whole command altogether. Damn, how critical would that be? Right, let me try this out right now with the updated link. <clears throat> okay, there we go, it works now. Right, thanks for letting me thanks for letting me know. Appreciate it. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. I completely missed the four X. So should I? I have to crash break, but there's no one crashing in. Dang it! We have to restart that. Four hundred is the requirement. Right. Okay, Whew. here we go. So I don't think we ever need the boost. We could just jump over the ramp and, and call it a day. We don't need the boost. Get the 4x, touch them and run away. Wow, all the way there, really? Is that not a stretch? <laughs> Thanks for giving up on me, game. And it's a gold! <laughs> it's a gold without calculations! Really? Really, what's the point? Alright then, I'll take I'll take the I'll take the W, I guess. <laughs> All right then, um, where was I? The Razor phone, right. So, I was just checking the Riviera crash so after that I switched to a phone, con a contracted phone, which is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. To fellow en Android enthusiast, code name Lavender. I just saw a line of expense so, By the way, if you're wondering, Lavender as a name is actually the the code name that, that, that's given by the manufacturer to the... Oh, there was the crash breaker right there! Oh shoot, okay. We should catch the cra crash breaker, fly towards the 4X. Okay, right. So, Lavender is the code name given, given to the Notes, Note 7, the, the Redmi Note 7 by Xiaomi. What is wrong with me? Why was I miss why was I avoiding them a lot? Right. Okay. Right. Um Honestly, it's a pretty nifty phone for for a 200 buck phone. 
For real? I really... I would say... Well done. Well done at the fair least. Oh no, the big guy blocked me! Dang it! Okay, how am I going to go about... Hmm. I could hit that, hit that guy. That guy on the side. Sideswipe them. Then head towards the forex and then... Let's take it. No! I edged it too hard. Okay, so we have to stay within the middle and then we crash right into the... the crash right into the crash breaker and then we try to swerve our way towards the forex. Right, here we go. Right, so about the Note 7. It's a pretty decent phone for its price. But I wouldn't say it's the absolute best, to say the least. Where's the forex? There you are. I'm gonna catch you off guard now. Yes! We got everyone. We got everyone. Okay. So, to play any games, I would say... Demanding games like Unity-based games like Honkai Impact, Genshin Impact, these games would hardly run. Very hardly run. But if you're playing rhythm games like, say, Bang Dream, Project Sekai, then I would say it runs. Pretty much. But, but I think, I think having a cheap touch sensor brings in terrible performance in one sense. An inaccurate touch. So there were a lot of phantom touches because of, say, when you're just about you're just about to touch the screen but you didn't touch the screen, but there's a bit of air force that, that kind of accidentally got registered. Those are the phantom touches that I'm talking about. So these phones uh, that that phone happened to have phantom touches and it kind of prevented me outright from playing any rhythm games. Which is kinda sad. But it's also during the time that I happened to discover SD Mate and I thought, oh my god, that's a really good app. And at the same time, I also got a little bit frustrated that it did that that the that the app cleaner, the the automating, automated cache cleaning thing, that's supposed to interact with your screen and 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 clean the cache for you through the app app info screen, um, that didn't work on that on the Note Seven. So I kind of just emailed Darkin, and this is how we got how how we got to got together like as in got together to fix this issue because I I was more than willing to contribute everything he needs to know to fix. To fix this issue for me and every other every other people who are using like the what do you call that uh the MIUI power devices like the Xiaomi phones and the Redmi phones. <laughs> that Phantom Touch, I got you. Jump. No, that jump did not take us anywhere. That jump legit did not take us anywhere. Okay. At least that was fast. This is why we proofread before set pressing send chat. That did not take us to the 4x. What the heck? That was the most useless ramp I've ever seen in my life. Okay. There we go, now we're catching up to the 4x. Boom! And another boom, because I can't go anywhere. Well, we got the carnage we wanted. I guess. As long as we don't touch the heartbreaker. I haven't played Honkai in a while. One of my friends mentioned there was an update about part two. Still didn't bother checking out the game. No man, no motivation to play the game at all. To, to be fair, yeah, I've kind of lost my motivation to Honkai Impact because of a certain chapter. If you know Himeko, 
However, Honkai Impact Part 2, Part 2 felt like, imagine you blend Genshin and HSR. And then you get, you get, you get the vibes of Honkai Impact into one place. It's kind of like that, but there's not really much open movements. I mean, there are closed movements kind of like HSR does. And then there are performance, I mean, not performance, a visual, I mean, shaders similar to Genshin. More, more, more Genshin sided shaders, I guess. It's kind of weird, but it's like a weird directions from the director. It's the weird instructions from the director, honestly. The director for Honkan Impact, which are di which is different from Gen Genshin and I mean no, which is different from HSR. <sighs> Boost. Jump would take us to Doom, so I guess. No, actually, I think I think it's doable. I think it's doable. We can double crash break even if we crash break first. It can allow. It allows us to propel. Let's take the ramp. Whoa. Crash break towards the four X. We have ignited fear at least. Oh, the cash! We could have picked up the cash as well. Cash and the crash break. Let's go. There we go. We got cash. But we missed the crash breaker. That's fine. We got carnage on the other side as well. I didn't even play part two. I really like the story of Honkai Impact. There was moments where, where I cried and, and stuff about it. I remember I hit under one. Hold on. I couldn't read the chat. Under one day 14 hours in Honkai Impact wanted to sleep so bad honestly I feel you as a as a gacha as a gacha player holy I felt you I mean I, I still actively grind three games Honkai Impact third passively Genshin Impact some a uh, semi active semi passive and HSR very actively I still actively grind those three games because for Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact, I've actually sunk money into it. And don't ask me don't ask me who I who I bought. <laughs> okay, how many crashes we have left for the Far East before we get all goes on crashes? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So I think I'll save it for the next stream. Oh, right. Man, that was... That, that was eventful. Oh, that was a lot. Three and a half hours streamed. Wow. That's wild. Oh. Okay, let's 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 hit let's hop on to the chatting chatting section. Let's have a little chat before we wrap up the stream. Whew. Right, let's get burnout three out of the way. Shut it down. Whew, that was tense. Ooh. Ooh, that was really, really intense, I gotta be honest. Damn! <laughs> the story kept me on, but I don't even play Honkai. I played Genshin and, like, eh, didn't really spend a lot of time in it. Honestly, for honestly, I'm mostly there for the grind. Because I, I, I'm, I'm more of focused on the characters kind of person. Story, maybe I did get emotional a little bit. I honestly, I don't know. I, I want to give, I, I honestly want to give the de the developers of HSR a friendly little slap, just a little slap, you know, a little slap in the face, because this bastard has reignited my PTSD for one for one scene in Panacone. Those who knows knows. 
God damn it! <sighs> I was so frustrated. Damn it. Wow. Okay. It was so good. Yeah, I, I, okay, I remember the event with Hexo Bronyo. That's when I started playing. Oh, the Hexo Bronyo event. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. I don't really play Honkai Impact actively anymore. It's mostly just passive grinds like um, expeditions and stuff. I, I've, no, I've I've no longer played the the main the main grind anymore. The main story, sorry, I've I've done none of that none of that anymore. I've kind of stopped it altogether. I've just outright stopped it. It's just no longer for me. If you know what I mean. Hmm. And um, yeah, right. Back to the Android journey. Um, I went through. Well, app the app in general was pretty good. Like the updates were coming in like a couple of three uh, occasional three months, three months once. It, it was pretty consistent, but but when they decide to abandon it, they don't announce it. That's so so damn sad. I have like level 80 plus, I check the game once in a while, but it doesn't always go that smooth. Honestly, I'm I'm 88 right now. I'm 88 limit breaking. <laughs> right. Um where was I? Um so um, After that, I decided I, I, I've gathered enough pocket money again. And technically, around that time, I was a kind of semi allowed to, to, pay, to pay for my, my own phone because I didn't want to be confined within my parents' limitations of what phone they can afford. Of, uh, they can afford. I want to sink my money instead to get the proper good phone. So at the time, I thought to myself, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a sympathetic person. I like to forgive people. As long as they, they can show efforts of changing. So with, with one UI rolling out, I figured why not daily drive a Samsung? So I picked up the Samsung Galaxy S10. Because I wanted to be I wanted to be on the normie side, like because at the time Note was like known as the, the flagship phone, if you know what I mean. Like the absolute flagship. And I wanted to stay on the middle range side. So I picked up the S10. Not the S10 Plus, not the S10e. Just the S10. And honestly, the experience was so far pretty good. Monthly updates is mostly at around the 25th to 28th, sometime around those days. Sometimes they skip leg day. <laughs> Monthly updates skipping leg day, quite literally. Samsung moments. But camera quality is, um, I would say, pretty good HDR wise. But I think there's a lot of artificial enhancing as well there are amazing I, I have taken amazing photos of it and it makes it seems like i just put on a fisheye lens on a, on a damn dslr or something that, that that that's how that's how good it kind of looks obviously dslr is absolutely way out of leaks of leaks of even iphones actually so but but still it, it kind of that the amount of artificial um artificial enhancements kind of gives out simulation of a feeling so i would say pretty good of the time though a lot of the beautiful photos i was taking is i, I was in a, on a trip to to south korea hey the home of samsung <laughs> though i was a little bit furious at 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 um at my local government where um, 4G, 5G was already a thing with so many countries, including the US and Europe, a couple of countries, a couple of European countries. What's more prominent is South Korea. South Korea was super loud with 5G phones. Like every, like they have, they, they sell both 4G and 5G variants of the phones in, in their own homeland. And I thought to myself, God fucking damn it. I, I wished I had waited a little and bought 
a Samsung Galaxy S, uh, S10 5G there instead. God dang it. Because I had some monies to float around. So, I thought to myself this would be my perfect birthday present I, I, for myself, I guess, at the time. But I guess not so much now that I learned that, the, that you can buy a 5G variant of the S10 in, in South Korea. <laughs> Uh So far it was it was pretty a pretty good experience, but there's one thing that bothers me particularly for Android in itself, like Android as a core. It's the the optimization, the lack of or lack thereof for live wallpapers. They kind of just serves kind of like how a, a video file is like. So when it moves so much all the time, your battery drains way quicker. So if you happen to use something like a no like Nova desktop or Nova launcher or the computer variant you would everyone would know as the wallpaper engine, you would understand how it feels like to, to be losing so much power to, to the or even graphics processing just to that to, to just a wallpaper of GIFs. To be honest, you could do something like Kuru, make make stream completion, maybe stream completions like funny moments and things, but going through three hours of, of stream just to get 10 minutes of video is probably painful as hell. Yeah, actually about that, it really is painful as hell. Like, um, um, if you check out, if you check out the latest video on my channel, it's, uh, it's currently the Forza Horizon, uh, highlight, Forza Horizon 5 highlights, part one. Keyword part one. <laughs> That's because I had I um last year sometime around June seventeen. Was it June seventeen? No, June 16, 20, 2023. Yes, exactly nine months before. I had a I had a Forza Horizon stream that lasted three hours. I had so much fun with it, but I didn't but I didn't have time to get around um, editing stream highlights for it, so it was kind of painful. So when I finally got around to do it, I, I I, thought to myself, I'm going to go in and out of this within a week. Nah. Nah fam. <laughs> I took two and a half weeks to to finish the entire... Oh, comp compilations, I see. I took two and a half weeks to make to go through three hours of VODs. That's because um, I, I personally have a severe level of dis uh, distractive, uh, distraction like disorder. I don't know if it's ADHD because my parents have refused to let me diagnose myself, which is kind of sad actually. Uh, so so I can only assume that I may have ADHD. It's so bad that 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 um, I take two hours to go through 10 minutes of VOD footage. <laughs> so this is why it took two and a half weeks for me to go through all three hours of my VOD. It was just mentally exhausting. So if you're looking into video editing and you want to volunteer for that for free, if you want to volunteer for me, feel free. I have, I I've put down, I've put down um, a help wanted this uh, listing on my pink cushion. So type exclamation mark pink cushion or go to pinkcushion.etergia.moe slash at melody tensei. And at the very absolute bottom of of the of of that page, you would see you would see um the the requirements I want I want out of out of uh, all the rows I needed. To, to help me offload some of the some of the tasks that I did that I didn't like making, one of which is video editing. I did, I really don't like making video editing because because um as much as I like to present whatever I I'm, I'm showing as entertaining, editing in itself is like a a guessing game for what what entertains people's mind, and I don't really have that zoomer humor in my in me honestly, so it's really really hard to get some of the zoomer jokes into. In, into the video. Like half the time I'm not even sure if I could 
if I got it right. It it's kind of it's kind of hard hard on me really for for particularly the editing part of things. <sighs> right. But yeah, back to the back back to the back to the the, the, the Galaxy S10 whole thing. Um, after that, I we landed we landed back to to my to my home country, and we uh, my fa my extended family wanted to celebrate by having a ha having a a potluck uh, or a hot pot, a hot pot of of ran uh, of of a variety of um, Chinese dishes like um, crispy crispy thingies. I don't know what that that's called. A lot of crispy thingies, dum dumplings, and a lot of dipping st dipping stuff in the, in a hot soup and stuff like that. A whole lot of really really yummy Chinese stuff. I I, I really I really appre appreciate it if you if you give give it a try from from authentic Chinese cuisines, not not those not those takeouts that Americans think of. No 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 no. Those are just Americanized versions. Screw that. Look for authentic ones and you tell me. <laughs> And and during that time, my mom dropped her phone, which was the Galaxy S8. It was dropped to to a point where you could see see um display like the the light streaks across the sides, and the whole that there's a whole like the whole glass shattered off, never to be seen. <laughs> like I can't even see there. There's a tiny chip on the off the phone. It's just. You, you can even see the insides of the phone from there, from the peep, from the peephole of that. It was so bad, and the touch panel just don't work anymore. So, my my mom in a state of panic told me, "Sell me your S10," and I'm like, "Looks like I'm being thrown back to the flagships again, because I saved up enough money to make the difference to sell to sell her my S10 and pick up a Note 10 Plus." Just as I thought I'm going to stay in the 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 middle the middle range phones, I ended up with a flagship again. The Galaxy S10, I mean Note 10 Plus, was was pretty decent. Honkai Impact runs at the time, but it started to not run as time progresses. Things got laggier and laggier and laggier. Genshin Impact went from 30 frames to 15 frames to 10 frames. Oh my God. I've tried, okay, I've tried ending a lot of applications in the background. I got them into deep sleep. I used every optimization features that they have on device care. No dice. Well, two years up, two years is up, and I thought to myself, I have saved enough money again. At the time, I still had, I still had, um, uh, I still had pocket money. But at the time, I was initially planning to spend all that pocket money on an on an R RTX RTX twenty what is it twenty eighty no not twenty eighty thirty ninety I think it was a thirty ninety I was waiting for the thirty ninety but the thirty ninety did not come because of um, chip shortage scalpers Bitcoin mining going crazy it never arrived. So I thought, yeah, my, my phone is in a dire need of an upgrade. I cannot even navigate my launcher at that state. I know I have bloated I, I, I know I have buffed it a lot with a lot of of, of apps like um social medias, YouTube, and even Twitch. But hey, I need those every day. What what are you gonna do about it? Delete them? No, you're going to take pieces off my life. God damn it. So I thought, okay, um it's about time that I return to the iPhone and see how the experience is like. Has Apple kept their word throughout these years of my absence? And I'm pleased to say that I'm quite happy that, we're, that, that, that they kind of are going, go, keeping their, their word to some extent. To some extent is the key word, okay? Games started lagging now, but what is now? It's, uh, it's this this phone's fourth year into it already. I bought this phone on launch. Okay, I bought this iPhone 12 Pro Max on launch. So I had the, 
I, I had the first hand day one experience. So I got to see how it's like and how it has degraded. And so far, honestly, if you can navigate around the home screen really quickly and jump between apps very smoothly, that's optimization right there. Optimization is exceptionally key. Just because you have 12 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of RAM doesn't mean it doesn't mean shit if you cannot let the software make full potential of it. Anyways, thank you for the stream. I'm going to do something else. Have a good day. Have a good good night. All right, have a have a have a have a have a good day or have a good night. But yeah, I'm gonna close off with this topic about about it, where simply put, optimization is key, and I don't care about the the wall garden. I still use everything outside of the wall garden, like photo synchronization. I use I use Mega. And for name anything, name anything you have in mind that has something to do with the wall garden, and I'll tell you an alternative that I actively use. So, contact synchronization, Google, because I wanted it cross-platform between Android and iOS, and it seems like only Google could do that so far. I mean, there are a few other apps, but. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> Streaming wise, that would be very App Store and Play Store uh, subjective. A bad part of YouTube? Well, there are, dare I say, patches. No, no, eat. Neither sites are superior. They both have amazing, amazing level patches that are just that, that they work almost e exactly the same. So I would say I call that a draw. In terms of emulation, honestly, Android is definitely much much better in terms of the flexibility to say the least. However, if you want performance on iOS, make sure you you don't keep your phone up to date at all because you need to use some of those uh, just-in-time compil comp compilation exploits. So basically, it's an exploit that makes iOS do more than what it, what, what it was told to do by doing real-time comp code compilations, which could allow emulations a whole lot faster. And this is very important for every kind of emulator. So say PlayStation emulators, uh, GameCube, um, Wii, Nintendo Wii's, and oh, even operating systems. Like if you're going to run Linux on iOS, you're going to need JIT as well. You need to you need to act, uh, be able to activate JIT by abusing the the existing exploits in the version that you're on. Otherwise, emulation can be horrendously hard on, on iOS. I wouldn't recommend iOS for emulation unless you're all in for jailbreaking. Otherwise, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't emulate on jailed. I really discourage that. Whew. We've talked about food, and I've also gone through my entire journey from... from from iPhone to Android to iPhone. Honestly, those who are curious, if you're, if you, if what's coming up in your mind is what's the next Android phone that you're going to pick up if you're going to pick up one. Honestly, I would love to see if I have enough money, right? I would love to see myself pick up a nothing phone, probably nothing phone. A <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> a nothing phone three. Or something similar to it. Though I've recently heard that they, they are going to reset the reset the whole numbering mentality. So they want to go with a, a lettering mentality, I think. So I assume that they're going to have nothing phone A and B, I assume. If that's the case, I'll look forward to that. Because I'm really I really want to see how it's like first hand to pick up to pick up a nothing phone. 
I don't want just I don't just want to to to, to take MKBHD, Dave Two D, Jer Jerry Rig everything, or even Linus Tech Tips. Word for it, I I want to see this myself. Because I don't hate Android, I hate Google as a company instead. Their ethics is the problem, not the software. I mean, sure, the software do, does have problems, but their work ethics in trying in, in abandoning long-standing issues on Android is what f pisses me off. Android has a dang lot of potential, but they're neglecting it. It's just like Microsoft with the ARM system. It's only recently that they started making strides, making efforts to hopefully make Windows 11 on ARM be eh, remotely better. It's hard for me to say. I've not experienced Windows on ARM ever, so I can't really say much about it. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the Burnout stream. If you do want to watch more of the Burnout streams, please let me know in the comments. If you're a VOD watcher, let me know in the chat, like in, at, the end, at the end screen or whatever. If, Hop onto the Discord server, type exclamation mark Discord, or, or type sh.etertia.moe slash capital M, small e, l, s, capital L, small a, b, Mel's lab. Without the, sla without the slash at the end, because that can cause some problems for some reason. I will address that uh, if I find the solution for it. But with that said, it has been your tech business girl, Melody Valentine, and I'll beat you all. A good night or a good evening if you ha uh, if you happen to be in in say the United States or afternoon. Otsu, Melody shita. See ya. Oh yeah, right. Be sure to support me on all the other uh, fi financial websites like like Streamlabs, Patreon, Throne, Kofi, or even directly through Stripe. Whichever you like, they're all on my pincushion page page. So check in the description below for the for the pincushion page. All my links will be there. So yeah. Anyways. Otsumelo de sha. See ya. Otsumelo, 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 otsumelo.